are now officially live. Hey guys, this is I know back to back live hangouts here, man. What's up with that? But oh, um, because we're all you guys that are here. Yeah, um, McMurray has something to show. He got some new stuff, and um, I did. Yeah. We're gonna get the uh, the little arm moved over. I just washed out a little paint palette guy. We're gonna oh. get the arm moved over for the claw. The claw. <laughs> The claw. Claw. And then we'll get this thing rolling here. Yeah, I it just like walk about getting pizza. Okay. Um sure Charles will be popping in. It looks like Ashley's here. I'm not sure if she's still here or not because she says we're on late. Hey. Oh no, Saturday it's like it's not even a school night, dog. No, it's not. It's Saturday night. So it's Saturday night. And we might have others popping in. I'm not sure. I don't know. If you guys want to be Want to pop in or whatever, hang out. I can put a link in the chat or whatever. You could join in. Yeah, by all means, folks, holler. Well, there might be a little brief interruption because I'm waiting on uh, dinner. And by interruption, he means he might have to step away. McMurray yeah, will still be here. Yeah, McMurray. When McMurray brings the pain. He brings the pain for good. That's right. So, oh, yeah, Gamers with Coffee still here. So, um, yeah, that's why it's called Toss the Bones with McMurray. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> but... All righty, I'm gonna go ahead. Well, McMurray's got a black screen, so. Well, hang on a sec. Again, I'm I'm trying to mount the uh the arm up over. Oh, hey, there's nerd. nerd. Yeah, we're we're back at it again. I'm not sure how long we'll be doing this tonight. So a while, a <laughs> while, Dude. one metric while. We'll see. That's just so Chris Long gets it too. We'll see. We'll oh see. God, oh. hang on. Dude, yeah. Oh, now he just went vertical. Yeah, it's a different one. Well, it's because yesterday I looked like I sold the best fireworks this side of uh, there we go. Lusa. So today it was, different. it was a different one. Okay, what what's that up there, man? Is that like a this? Yeah, above yeah. It's the arm that my camera's going to sit in in a second here. Oh, so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, Big Murray stepping up a little bit. McMurray's had this for a while. I know. So. <laughs> anyway. nerd, nerd, nerd. May I ask, what are you doing now on the bench? <laughs> Same thing <laughs> I did yesterday. <laughs> so. All right. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, begin. Hang on. I got I to gotta, I gotta get it in here and figure this out and do everything. Hang on. Yeah. He's, he's got some new stuff here. We're going to like do this live on here so we could see what it's like. I, to quote you know, Dan Rather, fuck it, we'll do it live. Um, so yeah. what I got today, You're big. I actually rolled by Miniature Market anticipating they would have these, and they did not, which <laughs> shocked me a little bit. But as always, my friendly local gaming store anyway. came through in the clutch. <sighs> and I've got the Army Painter... Uh, fanatic set, Ooh, which includes a brush, so I got that going for me, which is Sweet. good. I don't have any of those, I don't have any paints. I almost didn't get this starter because there's a bunch of this stuff in here that I've got already. Like, I've got eight million. I think I have two bottles of demonic yellow in the old army paint, same with ultramarine blue, a couple bottles of green slayer, bottle of leather brown or two. I think I have pure red, definitely. You guys know I got strong tone. Um, yeah. But then, and then I do have two of the speed paint. I have their whole metallic speed paint box because that's actually pretty cool. But I do have yeah. two of those war paints. So inside of here, you've got, as you can see, matte yellow, matte white. Uh, I actually knew a guy named Matt White, real good guy. He used to run the games workshop store down here. Leather brown, ultramarine blue, green skin, demonic yellow, pure red, plate metal, greedy gold, brush on primer, and strong tone. Um, so there's 11 paints. A brush, one of the little painting guides that used to be in all of them. I don't know if that's a different. Uh, um, I don't know if that's a new painting guide or what. Probably this one also has a new a miniature in it too. So let's actually tear into this thing. And it's um, got to have a brush. Yeah, it, they always do. Army painters right. are real good about that. Their brushes are are usually pretty pretty good for oh, just like going. Yeah. In addition to those ones, though, because. Yeah, if I want to test some stuff, we're going to get some other other nonsense, too. I grabbed Royal Blue, which is pretty close mm -hmm. to Ultramarine's Blue. Probably didn't need to get this, but I did. Um, I grabbed Angelic Red. Again, probably pretty close to Pure Red, but still a good one. It's a little so, lighter. Do you think it's going to be like a one-coat thing here or what? 
I don't know. Uh, the War Games Illustrated article made it sound like they were painting oranges onto textured black bases yeah. in one coat, which is wild. Um, uh, holy moly, my focus is coming in and out really well. I got a brain matter beige, always a good color. It hits that white without it being white, white. And then for my historical, I did urban buff because that looked like a good light skin tone. Yeah. Like almost a cobalt skin. And then camo green for some historicals. Figuring I can tint this up or down as I need to. Um, that being said, for our contenders, I chose some weird models, folks. We got some weird stuff going on. So that we can look at some weird, how is this going to paint up? I've got the dude wizard. Oh, cool. So it's a little mix of Gandalf and Jeff Bridges with a misprinted <laughs> hat. So I'm whatever. Yeah, it's the dude wizard. Um, I've got this guy who I think is from Irregular, maybe Ironclad. But he's a little uh, Victorian sci-fi steampunk dwarf mm -hmm. guy. So I figured we'd use most of the metallics on him. And then for May the 4th, I needed to add a lady to my weird Star Wars. So I've got this Lady Mandalorian bounty hunter. Uh, I think her name's Candy. Maybe Brandy or Jesse. Looks like a Tiffany. I'm not sure. We'll have to figure that out. Give me a second. I got to go down, run downstairs. I just primed some more stuff. I'm going to run downstairs real quick, grab that. Brian, entertain the fine folks for a minute. Okay. Ready? Da 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 da. Just stand to scream. Anyway, <laughs> so I guess I need a better camera placement. I got it way up here. So, anyways, uh, yeah, Greg, uh, Greg and Ashley, it's like a super duper paint. Um, supposedly, we're thinking that it's probably a one coat. Kind of stuff we're gonna find out here. That's why we're doing this here. I think Murray was over at Miniature Market, I believe, and picked up some of this stuff. And uh, we're gonna test it out here, see it what it's like. I never tried it yet, so and that's it. So, anyways, uh, I've already asked uh, what's on the bench. Um, I don't know what you got going on, Greg and Ashley. I'm sure Ashley's painting right now. So, or if you're painting any more of those Marvel United chibis, chibis. So. But um, I got nothing really going on right now. I'm just kind of waiting on the dinner to show up here. So, and uh, that's about it. So, pretty rare that you that I'm doing a back-to-back -back live feed here. I don't really do that too often. I don't really do the live feeds that often, anyways. So, but um, if you guys notice, um, I uh, my uh, video output, you'll notice it's Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. I'm gonna try to keep it at that schedule. And a lot of it's going to be unboxings. And pretty soon there's going to be a lot of the, I'm going to show off some miniature paints, but I, miniatures that are painted up. But um, usually I put those on the shorts, on those the shorts, the YouTube shorts videos or whatever. So because there's less than a minute or whatever. So, um, hey, gamers with coffee, you guys are finishing our living room. Hell yeah. Oh. Living rooms are the shit. So I didn't know you guys were remodeling your living room or whatever. So. And then, yep, WAG is printing, printing, printing. So, but, um, yeah, I mean, Murray's getting himself set up here. And then uh, he's going to put the paints to a test and uh, go from there. So, ooh, I can smell that orange chicken, though. But, um, I haven't, you know, I've been, I've been actually in the garage pretty much half the day, three quarters of the day. I was going to get a game going today, but that uh, guy is a little derailed. Brian got drafted. I got drafted today. So, <laughs> so I'm going to shoot for tomorrow. I don't think there's not anything going on tomorrow. So. <laughs> uh, we'll yeah, see. How's the garage yeah. looking? Yeah, it's, getting, it's starting to look organized here to where we're going to get the cars back in. So hopefully. And, uh, yeah, and, and I think I already told you we've been looking at getting a shed or whatever. Dude, those tough sheds now, they build them where it's pretty much building like a tiny house. Yeah. Uh, it's like, holy crap. That's, That's good. It's about to be was... Brian's new apartment, folks. Yeah. Or go up, you know, I've been iron land up north. And I was like, man, buy a plot of land and put one of those. Brian's going to buy himself a plot of land and a tough shed. He's not going to like homestead or, you know, do the prepper thing or anything. It's just where he's going to live. 
Yeah, it'll be about three hours north, and you know, I could take all my stuff up there. Of course, oh, then, dude, I mean, you're moving to Iowa, remember? Yeah, that's been talked about, but uh, that it wouldn't be like a move. It'd just be like a second home to where we could go there, and whatever. And see oh, that's where and McMurray. Stuff. That's your McMurray home. Yeah, the McMurray home and stuff. So. Beautiful, I love it. Okay, so yeah. let's pull this. Let's pull this bad boy out of here. Oh, they're redoing and painting and putting flooring in. Okay. Cool. Oh shit. Okay. All right, so here is the get started painting thing. Okay, so the 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 painting thing. It looks like it's still the free the it's free upside down. It looks like they've redone it though. Oh, what'd you say? Oh, it looked like it was upside down. Oh, it's still weird. Uh, revert mirror image. I don't know how to fix. Oh, that. okay, yeah. All right. But yeah, so it's it looks like it's a new painting guy. It probably has the same stuff in it. Uh, yeah. I was about to say, there's a, the picture on the little flyer. That's their old painting guide. Oh, yeah. Or no, it's not. Anyways. Oh, look, Brian, stickers. Yay, I got that blue guy sticker. But I don't, yeah. All kinds of stuff, some of which are not in there. I was also quite happy to see that the uh, these paints were already, some of them were already sold out in my friendly local gaming store. Which seems like it might not be the best thing, except for that means that there's there's folks, you know, getting into painting and getting into the model aspect and everything. And that's always a good thing. Yeah. Let's zoom out just a little bit here. Well, look at all the unpainted minis. <laughs> <laughs> like I should say anything. <laughs> but all right. That's fair. There are a bunch of unpainted minis right here. That being said, there's... 80 something painted yeah. uh, French and Indian guys right here. Right. And then there's more painted French and Indian guys right here that are waiting on their base and their guns. Uh, how's your 15 millimeter challenge coming along? Okay. Um, here we got the rest of these. That was also, I'd like okay, to point I'm back. Out. Sorry, I, I was muted. I was getting my dinner. <laughs> oh, I 100% just gave you the double fingers to the Jaws theme song. Oh, all right. That was not to you, fine viewer. That was entirely to Brian. Man, this <laughs> miniature looks like it's like friggin' Reaper bones. Like, you know what I mean? That kind of yeah. weird plasticky stuff. Oh, is it where it's already primed or something? No, I don't think it's already primed. It's just like an odd plastic. It's not as flexible as Reaper Bones. But anyway, mm. um, so today is Saturday, right? Saturday. It goes over there. Saturday, um, Saturday. I'm just kidding. I just wanted to say that so I could wing the figure somewhere off of the table. Mm -hmm. Here's their brush on primer. Ooh. Huh. Kind of cool. Never use that stuff. We'll set that over to the side. I've used... Um, I like the Steinle resin stuff. Never had any issue with it. We're going to get the rest of these out of this little... It's just in a little clamshell box. Mike says he's holding off on the paint. Yeah, I was going to also. Um, and then oh, I said, you that. know what? Forget about it. It's at the local... Like a real friendly local gaming store. Like the hole in the wall. So let's get after it. Uh -huh. Brush in good shape. The uh, the plastic stayed on the ferrule. So it's actually... It looks like the bristles are holding up pretty good in there. So that's encouraging. Um, you guys are about to see some of the most haggard ass brushes you've ever seen. Uh, strong tone. I don't know the difference between this strong tone and old strong tone, but I guess we'll figure it out. Um, I need to make sure that I'm keeping these paints separate. We're going to keep all these rather close up here. You guys can see my some of my prep for War of the Roses stuff. I was about to prime a few of these guys and paint them up in all kinds of weird color liver, livery. But I didn't get to it. Here's one of them that's done. It's a nice thing about doing men at arms for War of the Roses is it's almost like you never had to really paint much. Yeah. It looks like you never really painted much, but then you realize you painted the whole damn mini. It's really frustrating. All right. So again, we got the royal blue that I got, as well as the ultramarine blue that was in there. A little different. Oh, this ultramarine blue seems really purpley on my camera as I'm seeing it. Um, a little bit, yeah but it doesn't quite look that purpley in person. Anyways, so there's those two. Those two are pretty close. We might be stressing some blues on some of these guys. Then we've got the angelic red and pure red. It's kind of weird that on 
one of these, the text is white and one of them it's black. I don't know if there's any difference in that. Uh, it's just, I don't, I don't, I don't know. That's kind of an odd. Oh, cool. Look at that. It's got different, a gauge of how warm or cool of a red it is. Oh. So this looks like not like a warmer red. This is a cooler red. I wonder if that's on this thing too. Yep. Strong pale blues Ooh, versus yeah. vivid blues. Huh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. There are like 200 paints in this range, which is kind of sweet. Um, why, don't you get the whole, why don't you get the whole thing? Because I'm not Jeffrey. <laughs> Here is yeah. demonic yellow. So you can see, oh, this just says yellows. But demonic yellow, that's been their flagship yellow forever. You know, mm -hmm. they make a primer that's that color. Uh, same with green skin. That's their go-to green forever. So there's deep greens, it says, versus where the hell did I just put... This has olive greens. So I guess there's, you know, several different ones in the deep greens. And then there's a line of them in the olive greens. But so those are there, those two greens. Those are kind of cool. Those don't really complement. Those aren't really the kind of greens you'd use as one and then a highlight because they're real different kind of end states, for lack of a better term. Um, let's set that over to the side. Here are the two metallics, greedy gold and plate mail metal. Those look cool. Those are like wild packaging. All right, cool. Set those again off to one side. Leather brown. I almost got another brown, and then I kind of just straight away from it. But leather brown, again, you have the little cool little slider deal here. Yeah. As well as buffs, which is also listed as browns. So that's just the highest end of the browns and then like a mid-range brown. I really thought this would look like a pretty good, like, again, cobalt skin sort of color flesh tone but i guess it's a little lighter mm -hmm. than that looking at my cobalt skin that's right over there let's see get those out of the side brain matter beige warm grays and whites so that's not even the highest white i wonder if there's anything on here oh yep warm grays and whites so i have the highest and second highest white here with matte white and brain matter beige again that makes sense and i've got a model i'm going to use these on that uh might actually put these to the test pretty hard um, and then here's black, matte black, which is judged on blacks and grays. Um, so those are the paints. I have my dirty ass cup of water over there. I have my disgusting cup of brushes over there. Uh -huh. I have my absolutely not stolen from my eight and 10 year old niece and nephew paint palette right here. <laughs> We are <laughs> these actually work really well. Tim over at um, Special Artists and Miniatures, he does Geek Gaming USA, the whole you know nine yards. Turned me on to these little fidget popper deals, and they really are. They are great paint palettes. What's up? Looks like it's like a contact lens holder. No, it's one of those little fidget poppers. Oh. Yeah, but the, all the little wells are perfect for paint, and it's silicone, so the paint doesn't stick to them. It's really easy to, Just uh, pop it off, huh? <laughs> to clean it off. Also, since the, sil it, since the paint doesn't cure on contact with the silicone, it mm -hmm. stays wet oh. way longer than on my traditional paint palettes, also known as blister packs, which... Oh, okay. I thought this was going to be like the biggest palette I've ever had. And then I realized, oh, wait, I don't do that anymore. So, um, you need a pat in that, no. but no, I actually, it's funny because sitting here on my paint table, I have a few of these, you can see where I had the paint in it. It dried. And then I just popped them right out and was able to put new paint into the little cell. Nice. It's kind of cool. That's kind of gross. That they're sitting right here. Not that gross, just paint. But anyways, <laughs> so there we are. Let me show you guys. I showed you guys three of the tan models that I have. Mm -hmm. Tan tends to be kind of my go-to priming color because it's not as harsh as black and it's not as like shine through in your face as white. Yeah. But what I've also got is a significantly darker one. This is, and I like to point out, this is crappy primer. It is not well primed. You can see in the recesses where it's not well primed. We're going to see how they work out. This is one of Thomas Foss's <laughs> Skull and Crown Stratagem uh, yeah. 
skeletons with dark. <gasps> Jedi, Jedi Jim. Jedi Jim. Jedi Jim. But this is one of those things we're going to use the brain matter beige and the matte white on. And I intentionally primed that dark to see how well <laughs> we could get one coat coverage. So we'll see how that goes. We've got, let me grab kind of the handful of minis I've got here. We've got this guy who, again, you can see where he's not very well primed, but you'll be able to see a whole lot better what this guy is. This is like just a, a baldy caveman looking guy with a bit of a gut on him. We'll call him Jeff. He'll go down here. We'll call him Jeff, yes. Um, then we've got four. Um, again, so the idea is with these dark ones, I want to try and see how good the one coat coverage is because allegedly one swipe on a bra on a primed black texture base just left it orange, which is a mm -hmm. bold statement in War in War Games Illustrated. But then I've got a couple, you know, priest looking guys who we're going to paint up. They've got modern rifles. We're going to paint them up. As if, yeah, you can see how shitty the primer on these. That's is. a battle valor, isn't it? So we'll see how this is. Yes, these are battle valor. Yeah. We're gonna paint them orange, like uh, the Jesuits in the original Shogun. The big thing uh -huh. is, I want to see how well an orange goes on to these, especially an orange made from pure red and demonic yellow out of the starter box, because that's one of the things that defines a good starter box of paint is. Can those paints be mixed like they're supposed to be to create all kinds of different stuff? Sometimes that works better than other times. Then we got this little altar boy guy. He'll be wearing white, quite simply. Then I've got four miniatures that some of you might recognize mm -hmm. that are quite fun that I forgot I had. Mm -hmm. But these guys may look familiar to some of you who are more friendly with, I don't know if it's Disney or Pixar or what. But these little yellow test models, God, these primer is garbage. But these little yellow test models should be pretty entertaining. So we're going to see how the yellow goes on too. Just I'm straight pretty interested on the yellow. I like to see the yellow. Yeah, because yellow is one of those things that is not fun or easy to paint, you know. Um, but so those are the test models that we've got. They're probably not all going to get painted on account of it's 13 models, but if they were just hey, 13, paint all 13 models and if they were 13 rank and flank, I wouldn't be worried about it. We could do that in a couple hours, but mm. these are all kind of random, banana. random figures. You say banana. Yeah. I was uh, looking at the chat. Banana. Talking about minions, but yes, there you go. But for that, actually I've only got the one led over here. I think I'm going to turn on one more, so bear with me so I can get a little better light coming down on this thing. Fine, okay. Oh, come on. We just unboxed something that came out today. Came out today? On the mini warm-up channel. Oh, came out today? Yeah. Like I said, Miniature Market doesn't even have these damn things in stock yet, dude. Oh, yeah, like this is new, new. Boy, look at those toes, man. Sexy. Did you say toes? Yeah. Can you see my toes? Oh, yeah, we saw your toes. Bullshit. Does that mean you're... Dude, can you actually see my toes? Not now. So did. you're looking at my underwear now? We're looking at your... Yeah, we're looking at your briefs now, man. You fucking... Why didn't you say that shit? I didn't notice until now. Oh, you moved, for you, fuck's sakes. You moved I backwards, see that dude. shit on my screen. It wasn't. It was yeah, not like that the whole kidding. time. It's when you move backwards. There. Yeah, I'm here. I'm just gonna fucking pull this up on YouTube. <laughs> well, no. So I'm on the fucking phone and I can't see because yeah, restream you can't see as far down. I guess as your camera goes, which is pretty fucking asinine. Yeah. No, it, didn't, it was nothing embarrassing to me, Murray, that you think of that. It wasn't. Well, we were trying to not have a second go of crotch cam ranch. No, it wasn't. No, no. It didn't get that far, dude. <laughs> I would have said something. <laughs> I would have done, I would have done, uh, what would I do? 
I'd go like that, and I go, so as McMurray is. <laughs> Well, what did catch up? <laughs> Wag just uh, dropped his iPad laughing. So, but no, you well, back okay, up. You gotta switch. Oh, here, switch it back to seeing my screen real quick. You're on big. You're maximized right now. Okay. Oh man. So there's a, a rather significant delay. Oh yeah. If you're trying to go back, yeah, it's gonna be about a four or five minute delay. Oh um, sakes. But you're good, dude. Trust me, you're good. I wouldn't let you bit out like that, dude. For fuck's sakes. Okay, well, we're going to paint like this. <laughs> okay. Uh, a little bit, go a little, your little to the, what you call it, uh, our right. Are you trying to center it? There, now you're centered. Yeah, if you have it, you can hold it like that, yeah. Cool beans. Yeah, that's why right. it's just when you backed up is when you started exposing. <laughs> so nice toes, by the way, man. I hope you're not streaming to Twitch. That'll get you booted the hell off of Twitch. No, I don't do Twitch, man. That's good. All right. Anyways, yeah. motherfucker. All right. Anyways, let's jump right into this thing. <clears throat> that was fun, huh? All right. Yeah. Let me suggest. Or let me pull up the least shittiest of my paintbrushes, which is still pretty shitty, but that's okay. Also, if you guys didn't see, Jimmy took home a whole bunch of medals at uh, Little Wars this weekend, so that's cool. Oh, I'm sure he's not streaming tonight, but go give him a, a you know a high five on Twitch in the next couple of days. He's had a little bit of a rough year. So let's see. Anyways, without further ado, we're diving right in on the yellow. Oh, we're doing yellow out. Oh shit, that's right not, there. It looks like it covers well. It does cover well. It's, it's not, not getting clumpy or anything. It's not a one coat thing, probably. Uh, but this is awesome. also, like I said, about as shitty of a primer as you can get. That's a damn fine coat of yellow, though. Holy smokes! Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's not a one coat, but that's a damn fine coat of yellow. I am not a competition level painter you know what we're also going to do we're just going to slather this yellow all over this thing and because we're going to have to come back and paint the uh the glasses and whatnot separate like i said i'm not a i'm not a competition painter so i'm not looking for something that i'm not to put you know eight layers on i just want the thing that drew me to this was reading that you know oh well we took the orange and we put one layer on and it was opaque. That's pretty incredible. Mm. Um, that's a bold claim. So we don't have one layer on this yellow, but if we can get a yellow in two, I will still be tickled pink. These guys' arms are yellow, right? Yeah. Okay. So this, so one of the issues that people have had with army painter paints in the past is from paint to paint, some are very thick, some are not very mm -hmm. thick, some are very opaque, some are not very opaque. Um, and it's kind of like the issues that Games Workshop had in their first round of contrast, right? Where some were, some paints were amazing and some paints were not quite so amazing, but not bad, but not quite so amazing. Um, Army painters always make good paints, mm -hmm. but some were certainly more consistent than others. Um, so let's get yellow on these guys and see how we're doing. Oh, hey, man, we I forgot to do this. What's that? My music. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. Get some easy listening on here. What? You don't like Careless Whisper? I would prefer to have Careless Whisper, Brian. There, how's that? Like, can you holler at George Michael's people and see what it's gonna take for mm -hmm. us to get Careless Whisper as we're streaming? We're like, we're like uh, putting that background music for all those uh, really good YouTube painters, you know? They sit there. 
Yeah, that's true. They do. They do that. But again, <laughs> they don't have George Michael, dog. I feel like we could get George Michael, and then we'd have a leg up on like you know all these streamer painter extraordinaire people. Uh, well, you convinced the uh, wag. Yep, going to have to get uh, some of these paints. Did I did I get you sold on the paints, or did I get you sold on the uh, Hanes six pack of boxer briefs? No, oh, on the paints, man. That's good. Yeah, see, I can see Walkabout Games' name, and not any of yeah. the comments. Yeah. So, like on apparently on your phone as you're watching the stream, it just cuts off the bottom like 10% of the DM screen. Oh, wow. Because it looked like my painting table was ending basically where these models are. Huh. Not you're good, dude. When you watch, nothing major happened, man. Just, uh, just what we got. What I could say, just ask for some paints for my birthday in September. <laughs> There you go. But the big thing is like guys like uh like I don't know how much how far John Wise has gotten into painting, but especially I know like John is kind of I don't know if he's starting or getting back into it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, new comments displaying on that side. It's fantastic. Does that work? Okay, we'll leave it like that then. Um, they haven't popped up yet, but that that I should be able okay. to see. All right, did that pop oh, up? Oh yeah, then my wife was shocked. Right. There you go. Um I like to see that someone said that if you prime them pink and put yellow on it works or something yeah uh a lot of guys are you know experimenting with all kinds of undertones uh again tim he's a, a rather expert on like color theory and how stuff goes through and all that he's been doing the james wapple type stuff for years yeah. he used to actually sell james's dvds but like those guys they'll he'll, he'll be doing cowboys and like his War of the Roses guys, and he'll have like greens and reds and purples and stuff and blues, like tinting the undercoats on them. And it's kind of wild, you know, um, oh. to see. The hell is sticky? Why is there something sticky on my table? Yeah, 216 oh. very fanatic paint box. That's going to be a lot of paint. Yeah, it is going to be a lot of pain. It's going to be expensive too. Well, that was. I don't have an Jeff, extra vehicle trade for it. <laughs> Jeffy, uh, Jeff has their original Mega Paint set. Remember? Oh, you mean that's in his closet that doesn't see daylight at all? Yeah. Correct. Um, which is super cool. I'm happy that that's, yeah, the case. Um, but that was the first time somebody tried. Uh, buying Jeff's affection. Um, love watching. <laughs> love watching. What? See, now the issue is your, unless they're commenting quickly, your little mini warm up emblem is covering the top most recent comment. Uh oh. But that's okay. No, don't change it, Brian. It looks great. I can. I think I can. Let's see. Okay, so this is pleasantly surprising, guys. Uh, Oh, yeah. I love watching Waffle. Yeah, dude, Jimmy's the man. He's really nice. He's really happy. Whenever It's really cool because I don't get to catch him streaming that much. I used to get it a lot more when I was working nights. It's usually streams later on in the evening when I'm asleep now. Um, but I used to jump on and he, or I used to have a second and he'd be on at like, you know, two, three in the morning sometimes real late. And I'd hop on and there wouldn't be too many other people on the stream and it'd be real cool. We'd have a little conversation while he was, you know, doing magical things because uh, the man's a goddamn wizard. Oh, yeah. He uh, he only used, what, a number three brush or something like that? Yeah, number two, baby. That's it. Yeah. Or at least for most things, he only uses a number two. Yeah. Well, they got me all in the mood to start painting something up. All right, so let's toss a second layer on these, and we'll get after it. You don't watch Wardrobe Plays World War II on Twitch? See, yeah, he's still on there, huh? He does. I always get the notifications that Wardrobe Plays World War II is going live on Switch. Mm. I think Todd would probably appreciate everyone's views and watch time on YouTube a little bit more than on Twitch, but... yeah. He certainly is on there. Okay, so the second layer is getting a good a good level of opacity that I'm quite happy with. 
aside from where my garbage ass is obviously a garbage painter. Wow, this looks really bad. On, yeah, because, uh, um, their gloves are supposed to be white, man. Their gloves are white? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we'll change that. That's fine. But you said their arms are yellow, right? Yeah, their arms are yellow, yeah. Okay. And then they usually what, have blue overalls or blue something. Blue overalls, white yeah. gloves, yellow heads and arms. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Honestly, you can't help but watch James on Twitch because he's fucking incredible at stuff. Um, I'll never forget the first couple times he was on with us. You know, he was painting the Lord of the Rings guys and whatnot, and you'd be watching him, and you'd be watching him paint, and watching him paint, and watching him paint. And then I had to, you know, step away to go to the bathroom or something, and I'd come back two minutes later, and the model looked completely different. And he's just, oh, yeah, it's just, yeah. just doing my oils. Jesus <laughs> Christ, man. Fucking wizard. Um, some sort of yeah, some sort of witch. I feel like if we were painting like that in the 1600s, he would have been burned at the stake. Um, you don't like you don't like me semi-professionally fanboying over James Wapple on your stream? No, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? I'm just giving you trouble. Oh no, I'm sitting there trying to get my paints on. He has had a few rough years, but keeps picking himself up. I respect that. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh. The whole the whole world is is worse off for having lost Kathy, but he really is. He, he's he's jumping right back into it and getting after it, and he looks good. Uh, the pictures again from Little Wars. He looks good. He looks like he's having a good time. Um, you know, he's not wasting away or just putting the pounds on. It's it's good. I know he he was dealing with trying to get get active and get back into it and it looks like that's been pretty successful so i'm, I'm happy um well whatever was sticky in one spot on my table is now sticky in a whole lot of spots on my table but that's okay mm. all right so we've got this yellow on the palette we're gonna finish doing the base on this last minion and we're gonna toss some yellow or some red into it to get. Oh crap! It is a little worse this weekend. What's up, Brian? You said, just, "Oh crap!" I'm having a brain for it. The Union Cap, ECW. It's black, right? The the cap part of it, the bill. The bill is black. Yes, the yeah, cap okay. is is blue. Yeah, it's blue. Yeah. All right, so that's not bad for coverage on those guys. Let's toss that brush in the water for a hot second. Let's get a couple drops of yellow one, two, and two drops of pure red. Oh my gosh. That does there look it goes. Like There's the, the ball breaking loose in there. Yeah, the the video or the pictures from Little Wars look incredible. Wardrobe and I were discussing that yesterday. Mm. The yellow looks. I mean, from the camera here, it looks like it's really good. Covers I am them. certainly not mad about it, especially looking at how it's curing on their heads. I'm not mad yeah. about that at all. Not even a little bit. Let's get this brush back. Zooby zooby. Get this mixed up here. See what kind of orange we can make. The issue is we need a really, really bright orange and that is not a bright color. Probably shouldn't have done even parts. I probably should have used the angels yellow, not the pure, or the angels red, not the pure red, but that's okay. Mm. Well, it's mm. a little, a little orangier, isn't it? Yeah. So that's two to one. Let's try three to one yellow. Got to make enough of a bunch of orange paint. It's a lot of dang orange, Brian. I don't think I'm going to need that much orange. Better have some other minis that need it. I don't, I don't have any other minis that need it. Well, then I, I intentionally grabbed stuff that was oddly colored we're going to need odd colors Heard the boots on that one dude well 
traditional knowledge would hold that I'm going to need probably more orange than this. So I'm painting orange on essentially a primed black model. But this is, so it's not entirely opaque, but look at the spread on the pigment. It's not globby. Yeah. Or at least nowhere near what I would expect out of a bright orange on a dark, kind of shitty primer. Ooh, what are you doing? Classic. Yeah, he's, he's still, I think, doing um, Sino Russian or Russo Japanese War. He was converting a whole bunch of stuff from a whole bunch of different 3D printed War Games Atlantic historical uh, packs which is awesome yeah this is this is impressing the hell out of me to be honest with you somebody like send this shit this video to warlord so they send me a whole bunch more stuff or not warlord <laughs> army painter because this really is this is impressing the shit out of me right here um it's kind this, of good. Is, this is gonna make me say hey john wise yeah if you're still looking for paints and starting with paints this was forty dollars full MSRP for the eleven paints uh, and the brush and the miniature, um, which is a bit of a steal. I'm sure by the time it hits miniature market, it'll be you know thirty five bucks, if not a little bit less. Yeah, this is impressing the shit out of me. This is one one coat of orange, guys. That's all you need, it looks like. On a shitty, I want to do two because again, you can see on the back where it's not completely covered. But again, the big thing is it's not streaky, it's not globby. And I am not doing thin coats. I'm not thinning this paint at all. This is straight out of the bottle. Um, nice. You know, I know you're supposed to thin your paints and whatnot, but that sounds like reading instructions and that's not something we do here as men, right, Brian? <laughs> right. Hell no. Um, uh. Who is Wags Uncle impressed Adam? about it, and he sees why Uncle Adam is working with Army Painter. I do not know who Uncle Adam is. Do you, Brian? Tabletop Minion. Oh. Yeah, table, yeah Tabletop Minion. Right? Beats me. Oh, gosh, he's like big tiny, man. Well, that's why I don't know who the hell he is. I, he's your uncle. He always How posts like, is. his titles are always like clickbaity as shit. Like, this is why I'm mm -hmm. gone, or why I quit, or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, I realize he's big time, but I stopped this watching his stuff. Sandwich. What? This is how you eat a sandwich. Well, yeah. Well, this is how you eat a sandwich. Games Workshop exposed. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, that's honestly, that's why I stopped watching his videos is because of stuff like that. It just made me frustrated. And I said, you know what? I can go find plenty of other small guys that do cool stuff that I can watch. Give um, yeah. Again, not a bad guy, just one of those. Okay, I can probably find somebody cooler to watch than this. He's actually in Denmark right now at the Army Painter headquarters. Oh, at the factory? Yeah. In Skjarlborg? Yeah, well, yeah. That. There you go. Yeah, I was again, I was reading they have an article in maybe not this month, but maybe last month's War Games Illustrated about this line. Um, and that's part of what convinced me, hey, you know, go give this thing a shot. So again, this might not be the total opaque coverage that they were talking about. This also, again, is not the uh, is not the like their orange, right? This is an orange I just made by mixing two colors out of their starter box in a paint in a shitty paint palette. Like this is not their orange. This is McMurray home mixed orange. <laughs> Um, let's get this last guy's caustic and then we'll go back and, or Cassic, not caustic. Chris Long's got me calling Cassic's caustic. Um, oh no, Chris, you can't leave. Yeah, what the hell? Says, I have to run, why wants to watch Fallout. Well, that's cool. You don't have to watch, you don't have to, what? You don't have to watch Fallout. You're afraid of Fallout on account of the impending nuclear winter that we're looking at. It would be downright insensitive of her to not let you sit here and listen to the dulcet tones of the war mutt. Yeah. Tell her you're 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 watching uh, a Special Olympics painting marathon. 
Um, yeah. But uh, tell them to tell them we're here where you're watching a, a marathon. <laughs> yeah, the the Make a Wish kid is painting. Um, let's see here. I wonder, Greg, Ashley, sound off. Yeah, I was about to say, where's everybody watching from? I know that we got our our our, our commenter from the Great White North. I know, but Charles um, hasn't popped in yet. But yeah, I haven't seen Charles. Charles might be over. That we might still have a bunch of viewers watching the uh, wardrobe hex to hex extravaganza. Mm. I don't know. We're actually going to paint this little little dude as one of these guys too. He might be a little person. His vestments are certainly different, but that's okay. Um, again, guys, the cool thing about all this is that this is... I don't think I've used a non-starter kit paint yet. Um, yeah. What about this, you start still needing speed paints? Uh, I mean, yeah, obvi uh, yeah yes. Yeah. Um, I'm not as speed contrast paint heavy as like you and Chris are. I love it. Yeah. Um I I painted hundreds if not a thousand or so miniatures in acrylics before contrast and speed paints largely hit the scene. So I'm not it it doesn't bother me. I kind of enjoy the mm -hmm. black paint wash to success even sometimes come back and quote highlight but just hit that base coat on top of the wash again to get a pretty good color um sometimes the the minor tea staining really gets to me um because no matter how hard i try i haven't been able to get um monday morning here in indy Jim, it's it should be Sunday morning, buddy. Unless your Indy is across the international dateline somehow. Uh, Jedi's in the states. Yeah. No, we're always approaching the next Monday morning, Jim. Act accordingly. But it was good to hear from you, buddy. I'm happy to see you over here. Hope everything's going well and you're you're living the dream out there, getting some hobby time in. Okay, this second coat of orange is going on like butter. Look at that shit. That's nonsense. Garbage good. Wow. Double plus good. Uh, to quote George Orwell's fantastic writing. So the while well, the yellow was good, not to blow me out of the water. This orange is rapidly approaching. Holy smoly! There we go. There you go. Jim said, "Oh yeah, Sunday. It's all good, Jedi. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Be good." Pass easy, buddy. Get on to get on to the next day, my dude. You got this. One more red in here for low yo. How low can you go? How low can you go? So yes, this is feeling quite well and uh, covering quite well as as well. Especially again for an orange man on top of essentially a black primer that again is is not built for for miniatures at all um this is not an re painter primer this is not a games workshop or a vallejo primer this is shitty rattle can baby because that's how we do here in the middle west my friend hmm. all right this is one chat i was watching yeah. my miniature got me all painting now Abba Zab, what are you painting, buddy? Uh, the ACW. It's the closest as it's Nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Your single base stuff, or are you doing some multi base for Jim? Or for uh, Action? No, it's a single base. Okay. You know, for Pikachu and all that stuff. That's fine. I'm, I'm excited. Um, I am excited. You know, I'm excited for that. I can't wait to play a game with you. So this is working remarkably well. Um, we'll do that. We'll clean that brush out for a minute because we just did essentially eight miniatures worth of paint. Let's get some of this. We'll do some of this orange color on 
the cloth on this skeleton. Mm. I've got a lot of medievals that have a similar orange color. I did not clean any of the flashing off on this. Oh, oh God and Hexy ended their stream about 34 seconds ago. That was terrible. Hang on a second. I'm oh, sorry. No, you're good. Yeah, I was just looking. I'm commenting on how I didn't clean any of the flash off of at least the one foot on this guy. Oh, this guy got dusty, too. See it over there. This guy got dusty in the primer. Oh, gross. That's on me, but yeah. Yeah. Just I'll throw a throw a line out there and see if any of them bite. Throw a line where? In the chat, uh, Facebook chat here. Oh, okay. Let's see if this works. There's Charles. Hey, Charles, we were waiting for you. He was all watching X. Yeah, he was watching. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Charles, how you doing, buddy? Happy to have you, my dude. Happy to have you. That's okay. They haven't played GCACW in quite some time now. Um, so it's good to see them getting after it. They looked like they were having a, a, a ball over there. Yeah. All, right. All right. There's probably, that. Probably tired. Yeah, I'm about to say, I wonder how Jeffy's game of golf went today. I want to try to golf today. It's a weekend and it's yeah. not freezing, freezing cold out. So yeah, Jeff, he was golfing today. On this one, I'm not necessarily quite as worried about getting that really good, even like strong coverage. Oh, Charles dozed off because he was watching Hexy. Oh man, somebody <laughs> go cut that one out to the toddly Hex, man. <laughs> all right, Charles, I've dozed off on them before, too. I've dozed off on this show. I've dozed off on all the shows, to be yeah. honest with you, buddy. Usually I was live, though, so it's a little more embarrassing. Yours, nobody, you know, you stopped responding for a minute. You didn't, that's not a huge deal. My goofy ass has been snoring on streams before, which is a little embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, Charles, you're just on the toe action, man. There was one of those streams where, like, I passed out and you guys could just see the top of my head. Mm -hmm. We were, yeah, I remember that one. I was have, I went back and looked at that one and felt so bad. Well, we were wondering something health wise is going on. No, I'm, I'm in pretty good health. Like, if one of you guys passed out and I just saw the top of your heads, boy, howdy, man, I'd be on the phone to Gilbert, <laughs> Arizona Fire Department, nine one one. Shit, man. <laughs> Somebody get over to Brian's house, bring a baby ass for an nitro blistering, you know. Mm. So there we go. That came on pretty damn good. And that's the bottom of that. That's the bottom of that. Let's let's start painting up this other model that we finally named after the man himself over on that other stream. Mm. This is another one that's gonna be a true test with this urban buff, because like cobalt skin just that does not go on to miniature as well. You need eight, nine, ten layers of cobalt skin to get anything even remotely opaque. Um, cobalt skin is one of those paints where by the time you have an opaque coat, you don't have detail anymore. Oh. <sighs> that is one other thing to point out. These are not miniature, or these are not paints that I am. Uh, you know, putting on a stand mixer or anything like that. Nail polish. Or whatever these things are, yeah, these things are yeah. just getting shaken by hand and then squeezed out a couple of drops at a time, man. It is. You, you haven't put any of those uh, steel paintballs in there yet? They come with them. <gasps> Look, either. I haven't seen him for a while. Man, oh, man. Mike, Mike, Mike was on the stream yesterday, Brian. What? Yes. No, he wasn't. He absolutely was. Mike, where are you? I already forgot. Man. Holy fuck. Excuse me. Holy smokes. Yeah. What, what car are you doing now? This is the Urban Buff. Oh. For very, very fair skin tone. This oh. looks fantastic. Buff that bad.
We know I knew you was here in spirit, Mike. Don't worry. We were just waiting for your 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 physical form to catch up with you. Ah, right. so, uh, Would you look at that, man? Holy smoly. That's a one coat, it looks like. This is one coat. Well, no, I'm gonna do two. But again, the thing is, it's this is actually even a little bit lighter than cobalt skin as I'm looking at it. Mm -hmm. But still, look at that, man. This is going into detail in crevices. It's going evenly over big flat areas. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm sure Mike you already know what, what I mean, Murray's doing here. He's playing with his new paints. Got, yeah, yeah, this is the Army Painter Fanatic line. Yeah, damn, that does go on great. That's what I'm talking about, nerds, nerd. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, this is phenomenal, especially compared to other skin slash flesh tones that are this fair. This is yeah. bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S, man. Phenomenal. Who is that, Gwen Stefani? <laughs> B A N A N A S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit is the name. I like that song. I like that song. I got that in my head. I know, man. Yeah, it's one of those songs that once it's in your head, it's there for a minute. And I thought about it. And so I had to impart that little nugget to everybody else, too. <laughs> that is just about right, Nerds Nerd. The issue is, like we talked about a minute ago, I did not prime these very well at all. So it's weird looking through at god awful primer trying to figure out where I hit and where I didn't. Some of these crevices, it's just bare metal. It must be another different. live stream channel feeding in. Shout out on the video, not in the mini warm up side chat. Uh, what? Do you see the chat on the screen? All I'm seeing is Mike, you, and then Nerds Nerd. Yeah. Uh, post up a picture, Mike. That's interesting. Did one of the guys just, because it asked me if I wanted to restream this thing. Uh, Head over to YouTube and see what's going on. Make sure. Yeah, it, it asked me if I wanted to restream this before I got into the lobby, Brian. Uh -huh. And I obviously clicked no, but I wonder if one of the other guys hopped on and clicked yes and then just didn't hop all the way in. I don't, Charles, I'm not actually, this might be a Reaper. I'm not sure. I don't, honest to God, I remember, buddy. And if I could see the bottom of the base, I would tell you. But the puddle, the base puddle makes me think Reaper. But I'm not sure, though. Um Okay, uh, yeah, Charles, okay, I see what you're saying. I'm going to look on the YouTube right now, and I see our, the chat is showing up on the screen. Yeah. Um, but who's, it says YouTube is filtering out some of Charles' chat. Just set the top chat instead of live chat. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Charles, uh, looks like you, you're dealing with some technical stuff, Charles. Charles comments, Charles and Mike, and you guys, your chats are always top to me, buds. You know that. Oh, okay. I see what he's talking about. Yeah. Let's get a little pinkola. So it's okay. So chat's just chat's okay then. All right. <gasps> all right. You all right? Yeah. Is that gonna get us thrown off of YouTube? No. Good. I don't see why. Why would we have done anything? Painting's the, sh the little schmeckle down there. Hey man, you showed your toes. We're still here, dude. No idea how close I was to just hitting X on this and not. Oh come on, man! What, were you doing? Yeah. what? I wasn't doing anything mean. I mean, if it got to you know, you know, I'd be like, dude, my bird. <laughs> my junk was hanging out the yeah. leg of my. <laughs> Taint no thing is right, Mike. Taint no right. thing. You weren't seeing that side, but even so, look at this guy. This guy never skips calves. Look at this. I don't look like mine. They do look like mine. They are mine. 
your calves. <laughs> Brian's got the calves of an NFL wide receiver. Wide receiver? They don't have calves. Safety? I don't know. No. I didn't? Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Wife is entering. What, what do we got here? <gasps> All right. I'm going to hit mute, hit mute here real quick. Yeah, hang on a minute, guys. Brian's got to mute while he gives himself diabetes. All right, here we go. Or worse diabetes. Again, we're going to touch up the schmeckle there. Um, so I don't know who made this little figure that I so affectionately call Jeff. Uh, but it's quite a fun one. He's got this little, like, skull mace smash thing. Okay, I'm back. Look at that on the toes, man. Look at that. Look at that on the toes, baby. Holy smokes. That is... Mind. I'll leave it in my notes. Again, so this is... Again, this is one, one coat of paint on this guy. It is cool that we're getting this much opacity, but at the same time, like, look at there. You can... You can dry brush with this still. Right? It's not thick. Yeah. Not thick. But you can dry and really effectively overbrush with this still with just one layer of paint which is quite impressive um and also with this being a flesh tone we will start getting into some of our tan prime minis so we'll get to see how it goes on to there as well um yeah mike that's right the muscularity you better believe it baby jeffy's no slouch jeff yeah that was the joke was that this is jeff oh dude I just got my uh, new headset in today. Yeah, I told you I have those wireless noise canceling earbuds. If you want some, uh -huh. a little late now, man. I got me some headsets to try out. Now these aren't. I ain't spending no freaking you know two hundred dollars like those Beats, the Beats headset or whatever. The Dr. Dr. Dre, whatever those things are. Beats by Dre. Beats by Dre, yeah. But um, wifey told me it's time to for me to wear some headphones around here because you know, you know the living situation over here. She doesn't want to hear you. Yeah. <laughs> or she doesn't want to hear us, rather. Yeah, pretty much that. Yeah, and whatever what videos like. I'm watching and so forth. Well, yeah, because she's you all are sharing an office space. Now. God damn, dude, nerds nerd was right. This is incredible coverage for a. Oops, someone just peeped in. Very fair skin tone oh, paint. We're going to have some Ooh. guests in here, right? About. Welcome, Hex to Hex. Hey, Jeffy. Dude. Hey. Painting you up right now, big dog. Don't I look pretty? It's your golf club. It's even anatomically correct. Um, oh. Oh, All right, I get my word back on. Well, you don't need to see us. We need to see that painting uh, happening. Right. So let's get. So we're seeing McMurray using some of the new paints. It's yeah, really, some of those yeah. new army painter fanatic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Show me some models. Let me see some models. That's what we're doing, baby. We're painting live right now. Yeah. So this is the orange that I just mixed up using their yellow and red. Oh, that's cool. That looks good. It is. So we're going to, and then we're doing some flesh tone, which I'm very happy with. Look at this awesome. one coat of flesh tone on the face, man. Oh, so real, wow, real, real quick, uh, McGregor, I assume you've, you've already covered this. So it's, these are acrylics and they're just, yeah. but they Correct. flow better than normal or something. Supposedly? Yes. I think the, the focus was supposed to be improved consistency and opacity. Okay. Uh, which are good because those are the things that that paints need, right? Um, are, you, are you having to thin them or add drops of water? You just I am not doing off? shit. They are watching me put them directly from the bottle onto this little home palette over here. Look at that! That's just boom. Look yeah, at the hand 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 hand. That hand yeah. looks good. Now, yeah, what, Big Murray, do they have? Um, so, so these are new. Do they have like uh, with the little sets? Do they have the washes and stuff or? Yes, so there is there's a speed paint set, there's a quick shade set, and then there's just the basic, you know, army painter basic set. That's what I picked up in addition to a few other colors. But yes, they do have a quick shade set and a metallic set as well. So you'll need to um 
I don't know if you care, but yeah, you need to move over to your left a little bit. Um, there you go. Um, sorry, I just got the thing. Um, okay. You'll have to do a, um, this is a question, not a comment. You'll have to do a shade, it looks like, on these. Yes, it does. As as with all the Army Painter base sets, though, it does come with a quick shade. It comes with Dark Tone. Okay. I don't know what the difference between Speed Painter or uh, between normal Dark Tone and Fanatic Dark Tone is, but we're going to find out in <laughs> not too long here. Look at that nonsense. Look at that. So, again, this is where you don't need this. Is the other thing to think about, guys. We're sitting here. We might actually paint. 13 models at least 10 models in an hour or in a couple hours here um greatly aided by the fact that i'm not having to go back and put eight layers on each of these white colors are you it looks like you base these black then the I, so it's not black it's the cryolon camo like darkest uh brown because uh, i think... went to paint my black and i ran out so okay, gotcha. part of it part of it is black yes but other than that, it's just the indistinguishably dark brown. It might as well be black. Um, yeah. But yeah, like look at the base. It's it's essentially black. I got you. Okay. But it is also that is also the worst of these colors. As you can see, the paint or the primer chips off. It's not a good primer. I didn't get a good spray. So these are a little dusty. It's the paint is still going on just absolutely beautifully, though. Good question from Charles. Who's the figure from or have you already answered that? These guys that I'm painting right now are from uh, Battle Valor. Are they plastic or metal? These are metals. These are Battle Valor uh, metals. These are some of those uh, religious guys, Jeff, we were talking about yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you show Jeff? Show Jeff you what? Uh, Jeff, you what the, 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 you just recently just got down painting. Yeah, yeah, they saw it when they first hopped on, and I'm going to hit him again in a second here. Yeah, the guy so this is supposed to be an altar boy. I think I'm just going to make him like Tyrion Lannister. Um, but yeah, hey, what are the what are the yellow guys? Oh, we'll show those in a second too. Those are also Battle Valor. Those are probably significantly more recognizable. Todd, you'll probably recognize them. Jeff, you might even recognize them. You should be able to recognize them right just by them coming from right there, man. Yeah. They look somewhat oh, familiar. Oh, the, minions. The yeah. yeah okay. uh, All right. Let me get another drop on here. We'll start in with some of these can prime miniatures. The so can prime miniatures are a mix of metals and... 3D printed stuff. So the first 3D printed miniature is this guy, the dude. The dude. Wizard the dude. So you're liking this so far, the paints? I am. This is the the yellow. That's two layers of yellow. And then, oh God, see, that's shitty priming, isn't it? Oh, uh, dude. <laughs> 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 yeah, I've done that before. Sometimes when you're priming big batches in the basement, it gets a little <laughs> uh, poorly ventilated, and stuff happens, man. <laughs> oh, mine, mine, not excuse. I just missed. Trudge, pl trudge through. There, I mean, there's some primer on there. It's not very much. Yeah, it's just on the upper layers, which is okay because those are the parts you really want, right? Yeah. Um, but look at this shit go on here. This is again quite impressive, it to be honest. On camera, you. anyway. Yeah, well, it's it, it's quite impressive in person too. I keep kind of ranting about it. Again, somebody needs to send this video to uh, Army Painter so they start sending this free stuff. That way, Jeff can get another mega paint set for himself. <laughs> <laughs> because the the full Army Painter mega paint set is feeling lonely in the closet right now. I imagine. Be nice. Be nice. <laughs> So the question is, do I paint his stomach like it's a wife beater? Or do I just paint it like he's not wearing a shirt? Nah, he's, he's not wearing a shirt. Nah. We're going to get make sure we get good coverage there. We'll come back with the gray and hit his beard and his hair. Oh, yeah, that looks way better. That's way more fun. All right, so there's him. I did obviously misprint his hat, his hat but that's okay. Um that went on shockingly well. And then for my weird Star Wars, we've got this Mandalorian lady. 
and the chip. What's up? Yes, Charles, get painting there, man. Charles is always painting. Yeah, Charles is a painting paint. rock star, dude. Oh, God. I didn't clean those supports off very well, did I? It's all right. Any classy lady needs support, right? Um, hey. There we go. Music. Again, Just it's going on. Good Mandalorian lady painting music. I tried to get... So, Brian has actually entered into negotiations with uh, George Michael's people. Yes, so that we can get careless whisper on here. Um, but that's okay. Not, not, not banned, bro. Oh no! If we're getting banned, it's gonna be because you can see my feet earlier. <laughs> you guys missed out on the toe action, man. Dang it! You so know, in restream, I didn't realize that the little toolbar at the bottom isn't just at the bottom it's covering part of the stream so i went through probably the first 20 minutes not realizing you could see my feet and whatnot that was um, all just that have to tune in for that especially and, when, you uh, backed, when you backed away from the desk or whatever that's when yeah. so there's that i don't know if there's any real skin on this guy there's a little bit this is a metal miniature again i think this is from irregular it might be from Ironclad, um, but I need, I pulled this guy out so we can get some of the metallics in action. Um, I think I'm going to do his armor and the gold and then his gun and stuff in the steel. You can't even see him. There we go. I can hide the chat if you need to. Or no, 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 no. It's not that. That was because I was holding him down here. Uh, here yes, Mike, they are minions, buddy. Absolutely. Well, that's incredible. I don't think I'm going to even need to go back to a second layer of paint on most of their flesh. I'm going to go back and do another layer on the high parts of Jeffy. Oh, yeah. So, like on his pecs. So, you on know, his delts. I did, I did finish um, clipping um, the last Swan Leader box, so now I need a game control. <laughs> I need, I need a game to clip now. <laughs> well, you're ahead of me. I've, I haven't clipped most of my ASL, so if I can send them to you, you can clip them for me. Thanks, buddy. On his tries. On his traps. The adults. On his glutes. <laughs> yeah, that looks like my butt, all right. Calves. Look at these calves, Jeff, man. You got the calves of a fucking Greek Oh, my dog. gosh. <laughs> Get some on his knees quads the front are you highlighting or just covering where you missed no i'm just hitting the tops just so if so if there's a little more opacity because it should be a little lighter oh, and there last but not least okay did you feel that jeff what's, what's that? <laughs> you we'll, do me. that we'll do his forehead too he broke me he did i don't have red strike uh mike i didn't buy that I haven't bought a Buka game, to be honest with you. The only time I got, they sent me for free. Now, you don't really do modern. Uh-uh. All right. We'll clear that off. Now, here's another challenging one. We are going to hit some... Uh... Some white. Um, that's part of the reason why I chose this skeleton as one of the models was so we could really put this white through the paces. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. We'll start with Brain Matter Beige. I'm going to Be right back. You got the starter set, right? The... I did. Yeah. Mike, I think you can resist three more carbs, buddy, mainly because eating three carbs is going to be tough. Um, just to find something that only has three carbs, unless you want to eat like a grain and a half of rice. Oh my, just you know, once in a while you could splurge. Come on now. Yeah, man, that's Brian's Brian's theme song. <laughs> there is. You can splurge. You can splurge if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. But keep right, that butterfinger in here's, here's the big one. All right, ready? 
<sighs> what the shit? Are you kidding me? Where's Chris Long? He had to go. He's watching Fallout. Well, I get that, but we just had Nerds yeah. Nerd. Yeah, Nerds Nerd, you still watching this? Somebody who knows how absurd this is, hop in here. What the shit? Look at that white, dude. Yeah, it's like... I'm trying to brush off to see through and not having any luck whatsoever. Uh, why are you painting minions? Because I wanted to Dilla. see, to test the opacity of this. Right. And so I needed bright colored models or light colored models and something that's yellow and white that I primed black is about as good of a test of that as I can find. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm doing these guys in orange and these guys in bright yellow is because I wanted to try and put these things through the paces and boy, howdy, they are keeping up, baby. Hot yeah. damn. Look at that, dude. Dang, man. You gotta be shitting me. And I'm not, again, I would like to stress, I'm not a good painter. I'm not thinning these down. There's nothing special in these. I'm a pretty garbage painter. I just tend to paint kind of a lot of stuff fast. Garbage, um, garbage painter? What are you talking about? Yeah. He's being modest. Look at that shit. Look at those whites, man. That's a single layer of white. Like pops big time. Especially with the yellow, yeah. That's just one coat too. The yellow's not even showing through it, huh? No, man. That's kinda of wild. I, I don't I don't I don't have anywhere that I painted it directly onto the black, but I guess I could. Hang on. Oh, we're gonna do that on the skeleton. Don't worry. We'll do that on the skeleton. I might found a pack of pistachios. Get it, Mike. I can eat seventy five percent of it. That or you could have one extra carb, Mike. Say go with Dairy Queen. I believe in you. Yeah, then you can lose a foot. Um <laughs> Man, you lost a leg for Brimley over here. Look at that, man. That is truly mm. wild. That is impressive. Mm. Again, we haven't hit the true test. And it makes sense. Like, if you're going to put out a new range of paints, stuff like Will the White Cover, white paint is notoriously garbage. You really got to nail that if you want your paints to, like, you know, stick and stay. And they certainly seem to have nailed that. Damn, dude. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. What the shit? Dude. Brian. Yeah, I see him. Holy shit, man. Again, and you can see it's not, they're not like speed paints and stuff. Look at that. You can essentially dry brush with these things. Mm -hmm. So it's that opaque and that, you know, non runny that, that this is outstanding. These paints are fantastic. I'm sold on these bad boys. Also known as I'm about to go back and get a bunch more. Um, oh, I'm going to have to get some now. Tomorrow. Uh, from my friendly local gaming shop, Game Night at 8380. <laughs> Watson Road, St. Louis, Missouri. I don't know the zip code, but I'm pretty sure it's Todd's, so he can tell us when he gets back. <laughs> Todd was here, right? Yeah, he had to step away. I'm not losing my mind. Okay. I was here. Jeffy's in the background. Yep, I'm here. Yeah, Jeffy's here. <laughs> Jeffy's eating. What you eating on, Jeff? Jeff? Had a couple of McDonald's cheeseburgers I forgot to eat earlier. You forgot to eat earlier? Yeah, I put, I put them in the refrigerator because I wasn't real hungry. Um. Hot diggity dang. So aside from places that my brush just isn't quite getting, which are the real dark spots. This is wild, man. These are outstanding paints. Couldn't be happier with these things. 
there's lots of newer and newish painters that I know that might not necessarily have the, the funding to run out and grab the newest and best and brightest paints. This will be my recommendation because honestly, they're like four bucks or something. Again, the, the starter pack MSRP is still only 40 bucks. Just like I think the new, I think the army painter, like arm, uh, uh, whatever their basic paints is only 40 bucks also. But my point is I might wind up passing a number of colors, especially the ones like I told you, you know, I got a couple of green skins and a couple of demonic yellows already. I've already got ultramarine in their regular army paint, army paints. I'm going to pass those on. Um, that's what's up, Charles. The great Latoracon rides again, baby. This is good. I'm happy to see that Army Painter, you know, did this. Everybody's hopping on the the fast, like the the heavy heavy pigmented wash trains, right? For speed paints and everything else. These are just fantastic paints, right? Traditional acrylics, things that have been ignored for a few years now. I don't Army have Painter. that one. I don't have that one either, Mike. What's that? Sky high insulin? Yeah, what was your A1C then, Mike? No, it, that Dean, he was telling me to click. Red strike? No, fade of all. What's that about? That's that big Ancients operational game that Kev's been preaching about. Oh, Ancients operation. Fade of all? Yeah. Yeah. Kev was posting about that today. Kev was posting about painting miniatures today also. Oh, I saw that. Well, I, I, what I saw was a model, like an actual. Yeah, he was putting together a scale model. Yeah. A big board? Yep. Oh, no. uh. oh, I just tossed Matt White in there. So I guess this uh, club of Jeffries is going to be extra white. White. My white. Because this is actually a, a a a what do you call it uh, a spine with a skull at the top of it, and then the skull has spikes off of it. Because Jeff's pretty brutal like that, you know. He's pretty metal. Yeah. All that time he spent in Germany doing air guitar in gas station parking lots like a badass. I did. <laughs> I know, man. Like a badass, man. He actually wrote that song, Berserker, from uh, Jay and Silent Bob. Okay. <laughs> you ever heard the song Berserker from Jay and Silent Bob, Mr. Toddley? I would assume you have. I think I have. I can't sing it off the, just can't off the top of my head, though. Well, no one can sing it on YouTube because it's pretty inappropriate. You don't want to warm up getting banned. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's weird because Twitch updated their user agreement, right? Because I saw that What's Her Name can show her boobs online now as long as it's fast. That's right, Berserker. Would you like to? Uh, would you like to make Berserker? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Jeff actually made that song up <laughs> back in the day. That's how he got his first wife, dude. He laughed. He laughed. German ladies are all about the Berserker. He brushes. Jeffy brushes. Jeffy brushes. Tony What's up, Tony? Okay, let's get his chonies painted, as Brian likes to call them. The chonies. You saw McMurray's great chonies. Yes, you did. Yeah, we did. Yes, you did. And then we'll get his beard painted in. 
See, this is again, this is the issue I'm always talking about with 3D printed stuff. It's hard as shit to see where his beard begins because it was obviously, you know, uh, sculpted at a far higher scale, like far larger. So it's uh, it's an accurate sculpting in terms of the scale of all these details. But because it was then scaled down, it means, you know, if it's an inch, it's now a 50th of an inch. Um, so like where you have the edge of a t-shirt that's a quarter of an inch, it's now one two hundredth of an inch. So it makes it kind of hard to uh, start painting that when it's a rather imperceptible measurement. It's almost like you're freehanding. Who the fuck is playing WoW right now? Well, that, that's a silly question. <laughs> well, I understand that we can all hear you fucking playing WoW right now. Yeah, you're live. That, that way we're hip and uh, computer gamey. Yeah, that's right. I, I, somebody said they were making EverQuest again. Were you talking about that yesterday, Jeff? Yeah, I saw it on YouTube. They're revive, reviving it, I guess. All right, so there's the dude's beard done. I don't think anybody else really needs anything white on them. <laughs> So I guess we're moving on to blues for these mignons, baby. Okay. What color blue is it for the minions? More of the Ultramarines blue or the Royal blue? Uh, I want to say it's the brighter A blue. or B? A or B? A? I'm going to go with... B. B. A. The one on A. the right. A. A. Okay. That got about three shakes. So let's see how this works. Because I don't want to be, you know, doing stuff live online. And more than three shakes, you know the rules. Oh, baby, we're covering on the blue. We're covering on the yellow. Or we're covering on the black. We're covering on the yellow. Hell yeah. This is like every man paints, man. This isn't fancy painting. This isn't good painting. This isn't, you know, highfalutin painting. This is McMurray painting. This is every man paints. It's a good color. What's the what's the line from uh, Tommy Boy from Zelensky? Auto parts for the working man, because that's who I am and that's who I care about. Painting sure. for the working man, because that's who I am and that's who I care about. going on here pretty well i'm not worried super duper much about hitting all the little vertical edges or anything we're going to be coming back with a with a wash and hitting this with the uh speed paint two or no not speed paint two misplaced my last frame out have to look online to see my a1c hey look i want to know because mine jumped up from seven to ten point one and I'm hoping it's dropped a little bit. Yeah, all Brian does is eat Dairy Queen every day. I don't know how that would happen. Um, oh. He's got a balanced diet of a Dairy Queen a day and usually one in each hand. So that is by definition balanced. I have a Dairy Queen every day. Yeah, but an ice cream cone in each hand is balanced. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You're not going to tip over and capsize, that's for sure. Ooh, my head comes up here. You and Chris are the most confusing diabetic dudes I've ever met because you eat Dairy Queen all the time and that dude eats a slice of cake or pie with a scoop of ice cream all the time and it's one of those, man, what the fuck? What do you guys do? Just trying to become Captain Ahab, baby. I get it. I get it. I want to be Captain of the Pequod too. <laughs> hey, Pequod? Yeah, y'all don't dig on a Herman Melville? You guys don't like <laughs> literature? Mike, you're A1C 6.2. I think you're doing all right, dude. Read a book. Jeez. A1C, if you get to 5.7, you're pretty much normal. Hit 6.2. 
heck is there to worry about? Eat some carbs, man. <laughs> Maybe the reason Mike's A1C is good is because he's watching what he eats. Yeah. Or is ideal. Okay, I'm happy for you, Mike. Get after, buddy. Keep it up, bud. Oh. You're on that health fitness journey and you're doing a great job. Big time, you know, man. Who, Mike? No, me. I can see you with headphones. It'll be happening, man. It'll be happening. Whoa, whoa, wait. Somebody sent you headphones or you bought headphones? Like, did no, you I make bought, it? Bought you're going to tell me? Oh, oh. Hold on, real quick. Something's going on. I just turned it on. They're wireless headphones. Hell no, Charles, you're indestructible, bud. It's only us mere mortals who have to worry about what we eat, buddy. I don't know what I'm doing. I do agree with Mike, though. Be good, Charles. You got this. Taking your medicine is probably a good idea. So the blue's covering wonderfully, in fact. And it's not coming through green where I've got the bright yellow on here. Um, it's covering the dark, it's covering the light, it's covering the color. This is quite impressive. Now it didn't come with like didn't wait, it did come with a metallic, didn't it? Yeah, it came with uh two. It came with plate yeah. mail and greedy gold. I wanna see that on the We'll be using those momentarily. Don't worry. Don't you worry your little, your pretty little head, Brian. Pretty gorgeous too. I've not been watching what I eat. I've not been checking my blood. And I get forgetful on my medicine. I'm surprised I'm still here. Come on, Charles. Change that. They have those little pill Sunday through Saturday pill thing. Pill cases. Keep track of your meds. When I have a daily med, Charles, like when I'm rocking with the allergy whatnot and all that stuff, I usually just set a thingy on my phone. A little, little... Everyday alarm that goes off and says, Hey, idiot, take your medicine. It tends to help me out. Because even with stuff like, you know, an antihistamine where I'm beyond miserable if I don't take it, sometimes I forget to or I don't think about it or, Oh, I'll come grab that in a minute. No. I set the alarm. When it goes off, I go take it. It works out well. I think Jeff was saying he does the same thing with his birth control, so it works. All right. Come on, Jeffy, buddy. All right. What color are we doing next? We'll do some... Uh... Like I said, I think I'm going to do is armor and gold. I think I'm going to do is armor in gold and then the gun in silver. So we'll do the gold first. But yeah, so you can see the, the, the brown and the white are still wet in here. The orange is just now drying up. It stays, Brian. I'm telling you, buddy. It's impressive. So again, the gold straight out of the bottle. Whew. It's okay. All right. Charles took his met form, and that's a good thing.
Brian was telling us earlier about how he got uh, he got some of that Valium for his diabetes. So that's good. Get him on the right track. I'm kidding. Come on now. I'm just funning. It's going to be okay. Everybody take a deep breath. Todd, are you still with me here, bud? Barely, but yes. Thank the good Lord Jeebus. The Toddly is here, folks. Oh, man. Oh, I'm sorry, Jeffy. I'm sorry, buddy. What happened? I don't know, but he's not in here, and usually that's because I... I think yeah, he he's getting up early to go golf again. He was gonna he just wanted to pop in to oh, say hi, nice. basically, I think. That's good. <clears throat> At least that's why. I, I mean he was gonna we were closing that other one down. He goes, All right, we should go into mutts. So. That's good. I'm happy you guys made it over here. It's always delightful to see us. So the gold cover is pretty good, Brian. Yeah, it is. Because usually it's more fun to mess with Jeff when he's here. Um, and by more fun, I mean that's when it's really entertaining. But yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. So Brian, the gold cover is pretty good. It's all again. That's one coat. It's that's pretty damn solid. Dang, it's bright. Yeah. Again, and gold is another one of those. It's a real pain in the ass to get a solid color on. Yeah. Bright. That's pretty dang solid, dude. It's pretty dang solid, my dude. So what color do we want to make this lady's armor? What color do you have left? I got all kinds of colors. Um, we can do like red. We can do like green. Um, <laughs> we've already done yellow. We've done some blues. We've done white. Um, <laughs> What? I was just reading the chat, Mike's chat there. Uh, Tomica said magenta. What the hell color is magenta? Is that like uh, a purple? Purplish, maroonish. Kind of I didn't realize. Hang on, let me go back and get this guy's white hair back here. I would have done, since it's a uh, Mandalorian, they, a lot of their uh, armor silver and whatever. And pink? Yeah. And uh, orange too, actually, in there. Cause it's a lady. Dude looks like a lady. Not dude looks like a lady. It's a Mandalorian lady. Yeah. Lady looks like a lady. Yeah, it's all about the ladies, man. Uh, like uh, blue. I'm trying to remember. What's that? She's name. She's like a Jedi, a Mandalorian Jedi, whatever. I can't remember anything. Jedi's aren't Mandalores. I didn't say Mandalores. Is, yeah, well, yeah. Um, in uh, Ahsoka. Ahsoka. Is Ahsoka a Jedi or a Mandalore? Ahsoka's not Mandalorian. No. It's one of the CYMK colors. See, Telemachus, the issue is you know what you're talking about and you're real smart and stuff, and I, I wanted to do pink because it's a lady. I can see him. I don't know what CYMK is. Carol. 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 And I painted the Zwaves blue instead of red. That's okay. Zwaves <laughs> ra rather always had red or blue and gray on them in addition to reds, buddy. But no, their trousers are red. Not necessarily. Because I painted his trousers blue. 
So put a layer of red on them. Oh, wait, you don't have Army Painter Fanatic paints that have outstanding opacity and consistency. Womp womp. I just put the white on it, and then I go back to the red uh, speed paint. Cyan, yellow, magenta, black. Thank you, Matt. Mike, now I got it. What color is cyan? Is that a blue. bluey? Yeah, like a sky blue kind of. Okay. Kind of. Like a, a tidal wave speed paint blue. <laughs> What color is that? Pink or peach? I don't know. I mixed a white and a red. She's not a Barbie. The fuck is it? What the hell is that supposed to be? <laughs> Salmon. There you go. Wait, yeah, you not like fish? What are you doing to her backpack, man? It's pink like the rest of her. That does look like salmon, though. I agree. It's not a fish. It's a lady. Jesus. That's offensive. Barbie Lorian. Barbie Lorian. What? Barbie Lorian. Yeah, dude. Anyways, this guy will just be a special dude. That's what's Unless you want me to make her helmet purple. But Todd always groans when I do that. So, what is <clears throat> Telemachus? I understand that I'm probably <clears throat> way out of the realm of Star Wars canon. Cool mashup of movies and TV shows. Um, but again, this is for my my dumb Star Wars, where it focuses around the. <clears throat> The, the exploits of Darth Brooks and his buddy Dayel, the speeder pilot. Um, you know, it's like I said, it's Darth Brooks and the Intimidator, and they just go zipping around tattooing street racing folks for, uh, you know, parts for their other speeders that are in the back of the, the shop. Although I did actually print those buildings, Brian. The, uh, the like Tatooine looking dwellings. Yeah, the sand. Yeah, I know yeah. So that I can officially, you know, do Dale and Dark Brooks or Darth Brooks how they should be. Um, when are you gonna host another game, dude? What game do you want me to host? Here, figure a game out and host it. Okay. Um, what you think about? I thought we were going to play Stanwick Station, but... Well, Stanwick Station, I'm going to solo that one. Why? Because it's my game and I can do what I want. Wow. <laughs> well, maybe that needs to be my, my, my answer. <laughs> my game. It's just a reply to a moment when someone drops in you and goes, Hey, hey man. Amen, buddy. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come back. So she's obviously got yoga pants on. Cause look yoga at pants on. Um, yeah, dude. You can have Lululemon in a galaxy far, far away. Lululemon. She can certainly afford it. <laughs> it's getting late. <laughs> Yeah, dude, she's a Mandalorian. She can afford anything. She's a strong, independent woman. Don't need no toddy. But I need her. Ugh. Well, yeah, but your name is also synonymous with man. Because, you know. It's just her. I have to synonymous with fox. Toddy boy. What does the Todd say? Ding, 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 Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we got it. That's what's up. I was going to take my redneck Star Wars stuff to May the 4th with Jay Wiley and just start dropping it on his speeder bike race table. But, but he and Steve take their Star Wars pretty seriously. Pretty, pretty seriously. And so I don't know how well that would be. That looks not, don't look too bad. So I don't know how well that would be. 
taken. Um, well, I mean, of course, I'm going to do it anyways, Brian, but that's not the point. Uh, okay, let's see here. We need Matt Black. Although we might, we might get just a teeny tab of silver of uh, white in here. Oh, I did not mix that. Uh oh, got my first one that has medium. I wish those minions were finished. Will you shut up a minute? Barnaby Jones Diary. Yeah, you might. I don't know Barnaby Jones, but he sounds like a good dude. I got the Barney Miller song in my head. Dog, there's a show, buddy. There's a show. What? You have never watched Barnaby Jones? Yeah, I'm just one of those kids, Mike. I don't know, buddy. He's a kid, Mike. Well, I got 20 ACWs done right now. And 15? Since we started, no, 28. Nice! No. <laughs> that's the just freaked you out, dude. You freaked me out. I was proud of you for a minute there. Yeah, yeah, we were proud of you and made us proud. Now you're just wild. Oh, anyways, that, that's fishy from the beginning, man. Why? Fishy. <laughs> What is Barnaby Jones about, Mr. Mike? Mm -hmm. I hate to tell you, but I've never even heard of Barnaby Jones. <gasps> Barney Miller, absolutely. Seven seasons with Buddy Ebsen as a private eye. Oh, nice. That does sound pretty good. Um, How long has he been? I started uh, the book two in the Sharp series. Nice. So again, I don't remember. I know we've talked about this. Are you listening to them in chronolo in order of when they came out or in chronological order? Like, did you listen to... I think it's chronological because it's four years after the first book. So I think it's going to be chronological. So you watch, or you listen to the first one he was in India? The one you listened to? Yeah, and this one he's still in India, just a different location. Yes, okay. And then it's right at the beginning of the camp gets overrun. Yes. By some guy, so I'm not quite clear on who's who, but East India Company guy, yeah, something on this. Anyway, did what was he fighting the Tipu Sultan in the one you listened to, or is that the second one? The first one was that one. Was fighting the Tipu Sultan with the guys who liked to drive railroad spikes through people's heads and whatnot. Yes, <laughs> and he stole the diamonds, and Obadiah was hung, but of course he didn't die. Nope, Obadiah will be in those books. Almost to the end. What are you guys talking about? Sharp. Um, it's what the, they made into that mini or that film series with uh, Sean Bean or Sean Bean. Sean Bean. Sean Bean. There we go. Now she's got her yoga pants on. All right, there we go. So that can get set aside. I don't think the dude needs anything painted particularly dark black. <laughs> this guy, we'll do this guy's coat in like a real dark gray black color. Oh, the minions, they're like sun, or their glasses and goggles are like real dark black, aren't they? I don't know. Uh, I think so. I thought someone had a silver lining, but. In the chat, tell us, classes of minions, are they all black? I'm too lazy to look up. Trying to get my ECW on. And after that, I'll go to the other side and do Crusade. Sorry, Open up another starter on you, man. I know I'm not the best at keeping these guys in frame all the time. 
Silver frame mini goggles, transparent glass. And okay, what about the the straps? Are they like a brown, like a leather brown, or are they a blacky color? Son of a gun. No, 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 this black leather. There we go. Okay. Want to talk about how lazy I am painting these CCWs? When it comes to painting the rifles, I just throw dark wood on it and I'm done. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Don't bother with the black barrel or anything. Okay, black leather. So we're gonna have to switch to a slightly smaller brush. Oh, what did everybody do today, man? Besides, you know, like me, garage and all that crap. <clears throat> Well, oh, I, know you did yeah, the marathon thing. I did a 5K walk, a Kirkwood beer run, but I walked because I'm a walker, not a runner. And that was cool. And I went to a coffee shop and got some cool stuff there. And then, uh, what coffee shop did you go to? Taleo in Kirkwood. Well, that does sound way classier than anything I would ever even think about going to. Um, talked to some nice, lovely Kirkwood people while sitting there. And then went to uh, two Lowe's and a Home Depot to finally find at the last Lowe's some plexiglass for the Crete game and had five pieces of plexi or actually six, seven pieces of plexi cut out for gaming. Uh, You're batching it, aren't you? Uh-huh. Yeah, dude. And then... Um, Finished a book, The Nine Princes in Amber by Roger Zelazny. Started the Sharp book. Read a little bit of a business book. A business book? Played uh, two turns of uh, NEV and streamed live. Took the dog out for a walk several times. Talked to a couple neighbors. Look at this social butterfly over here. Stream, stream live with Jeff and I and played a little GCACW. That was Stonewall Jackson's way too, right? Yeah, bull run. Biz, bull run. One day of bull run. Was that bull run numero uno or bull, well, bull run numero dos? Numero uno. Oh, baby. We learned how to do night move. Talk to you about the night moves. Um, so that was cool. That Patrick jumped on the chat with us. He did not not talk. He wasn't live on camera, but he just chatted with us, helped us learn some stuff. That was good. Actually, a bunch of people taught us a few things, but Patrick was on there. He's a big dude. That's cool. And then came on with you guys. Hell yeah. Oh, and watch an episode of Fallout with my kid. So, yeah, it's been a banner day. It's not a very good day. Tell you how much right now. Hell yeah, Chris Long is watching Fallout right now also. On episode, I finished episode three with the uh, gulper. Oh, yeah. That's pretty weird. You put fingers inside. Boom. Yeah, there's that wicked. And the, the, the model or whatever they used for that gulper was pretty good. I mean, it looked like a human with an animal there. It's pretty mm -hmm. gross. It's a lot of gross stuff in that show, like all oh, the dead head and the dog eating the. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Lots of lots of moistness in that show. Keep at it, Todd. Just keep watching. So, I'm on number seven. I went back and watched some more Shogun. Oh, okay. What you was it any better, or are you still not sure I, about it? I don't know, man. I really liked I really liked the first one, and I realized that that's not a very popular opinion, right? Um, no, I don't think so. I think a lot of people like the original one. Yeah, but I like the original one better than this one. Uh, that's what I mean. A lot of people like that original. I think that, I mean, to me, this is written and shown, you know, we were talking about the dirty, dirty Europeans. I feel like the whole time, this is more of a Japanese view, and I feel like 
Japanese proper people, the, the, and I say proper meaning like the ruling class would view Europeans that way. That's how they would view them, right? Well, it's not all, yes. I mean, that, it also is just the whole show really takes the, oh man, we got to make cinema dark. Like we're going to show the mood by making everything dark. Like dog, the sun fucking comes out in Japan. I swear to God. Like, uh, uh-uh. no, it it's, doesn't. It's got to happen eventually. Um, but like you get all these scenes that you could tell they probably spent a lot of time trying to make, you know, cool. And unless you are sitting in a completely dark room with no glare on your TV whatsoever, you're not going to see shit. Interesting. Yeah. Um, it's a, I, mean, I think a lot of modern shows are like that. It is. And it's really irritating and the kind of depressing, to be honest with you. Actually, there was a, a Vox. There was an actual story <laughs> about that. <laughs> the coloring they use and stuff for the digital screens and blah, blah, yeah blah. i mean like you always get that with oh we're in mexico everything's gonna be sepia um stuff like that it just seems like in shogun everything is just dark super like, mad, like a painting or something kind yeah kind of but even when it's like oh it's daytime they're cleaning up you know uh brush that got knocked over or you know trees that fell down during this storm is the storm still fucking going on like are they still like covered in hurricane class cloud cover right now or are they cleaning up because that shit's gone and so you can make it like the sun the sun comes out man it's gotta come out um and everything wait is that 15 or 1600s it's 1600 not in the 1600s the sun wasn't out much I read it. yeah the sun didn't actually exist um not, not in 1600 and not not until 1700 did it come out yeah uh, <laughs> and that's what allowed for the uh revolution to happen because people could actually see what was going on they're like oh wait a minute oddly enough in japan the second sun came out twice in 1945 also um oh snap <laughs> got him uh yeah, that's right, America. Um, <laughs> but what are you giggling about? Nothing. I thought that was funny. Sorry. Oh yeah, dude. I just feel like my pain, man. Oh, I just slept all day. It looks like. Still one of the more awkward uh, movie theater moments I've ever had was. Yeah. Uh, I should have. I know we went and saw Batman together, Todd. We should have gone and seen Oppenheimer together, so you could have told me to shut up and stuff. Oh gosh! <laughs> oh, we saw that in theaters. No, I just I applauded, and apparently that was not the correct thing to do. It's like that's the whole fucking point of the movie, guys. It's his life's work. Uh, but yeah, yeah, dog. Um, <gasps> <laughs> Abba Zabba, you my only friend. All right, there we go. That's my stoner quote for the day. I can't tell if this is Ganja doll or what, but you might be Radagast the Brown, too. I think Ganja Dolph might be my best, my best friend current play on words maybe I need to put a giant leaf on the back side of this robe I need to hold it down farther there we go <laughs> what shut up dude what are you giggling about today black leather oh god and my lighting for my thing is I'm shutting stuff down Wait, you can't turn the lights off. Toddy's all about keeping the lights on. Not right now. This is pretty good. I like this picture. I might have to do some live streams like this. Like oh, this? No, with my current view, with my lighting as it is and my surroundings. Ooh, here, we'll go ahead and... Oh, you're going to start doing ASMR? There you oh, go, my Steve. God. It's the, it's the wardrobe witch project. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. 
<laughs> it's better when the other stuff's on because it's brighter. No, Todd, it's it's the Blair Witch Project. Witch with the W. Hey, right. oh, because um, I thought you said something else. Yeah. <laughs> All right, come on. Oh, I meant to do there. His hair is brown, too. That's okay. Here we go. I think we might have convinced two people to buy into GBACW tonight, or GCACW tonight on our video. It certainly seems... Dude, you were giddy like a schoolgirl, Todd. It's always fun to watch you play GBAC, or GCACW just because of how happy you get. I know. Tell you, man, but if we convince two people, I mean, that's a lot to convince someone to buy into that system. It's a lot to, to buy into. It is, it is at that. You are not wrong. Um, we'll see, though. We'll see if they do. But... Okay, so what colors do we still need to do? Silver. What's today's day? Is it the 19th or the 20th? Oh, brown. These guys need hair. Today is the 21st. Oh, dang. Okay, I'm waiting. As of one minute. Yesterday was the 20th. Okay. We'll go with 420 it. blaze it. That's <laughs> right. It was 420, bruh. Totally, bruh. Did you work on the the, the, the wizard then, bro? Bro. I'm serious, bro. That was the idea of Gandalf, but yeah. Okay, 420. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nothing like working from six to nine on four twenty, baby. Four twenty sixty nine. Nice. <laughs> Oh no, I forgot that these guys have orange hats on, like little orange skull caps. Not quite yarmulkes, but kind of close. And the orange has finally dried on my palate. So maybe, you guys, maybe if we can get excited enough, we can make enough noise, generate some of that happy. Maybe Todd won't forever leave miniature wargaming. <sighs> Doubtful, but let's all throw some rather significant guilt trips at him. Um, I'm getting a little desperate. Jeffy's been cackling too much. It's, it's not. Yeah, it's not. It has nothing to do with Jeffy. Yeah. It has nothing to do with Jeffy. I don't hate playing miniature games with Jeff. <laughs> McMurray. Pickles and Sunshine is right, Dylan, because that sounds about as good as can get. We were, we've were we been talking about pickles a fair amount recently on account of my recent kick of <laughs> eating sweet pickles fairly frequently. I'm a big fan of sweet pickles. Still not necessarily so much. Certainly not bread and butter. That's just odd. Um, Wait, I thought you said you like bread and butter. Is it sweet you like? Yeah, it's sweet that I like. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm huge. I'm a dill guy. I know. Dill. I'm a dill. What? Oh, dill guy. Not that, yeah. But that's something else. But uh, but yeah, no, I've been on a big kick eating sweet pickles recently. Right down to eating a number of different varieties to try and figure out what I enjoy the most. Schnooks. Our hometown grocery store here makes half decent sweet gherkins. Uh, Mount Olive, for all the the laughy laughy, you know, all the all the press Mount Olive gets for their pickles, their sweet pickles are garbage. Um, the main metric that I go with is something that I like to call mouth feel. Uh, pickles have to be crispy, you know. Um, I'm a crispy guy too. I'm with you. I agree. Agree on that. Yeah, pickles need to be crispy. Uh, soft pickles, like squishy, just, uh, that's that's not good, no good, bad, uh, not even and close. The, the only way I like those is if they're, I've had some homemade ones that had super good flavor. 
and I, I could abide by that. But generally, I want crispy. Yeah, exactly. I had one guy who asked me if I liked hard pickles, like almost like a fresh cucumber. Hmm. But I mean, it, that seems not necessarily the worst. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to. But also, I, yeah, I think no, I've, I've had I've had that I think before, and I didn't really, I didn't necessarily like that. I love cucumber. I mean, I could eat cucumbers all day long. Yeah, we know, bud. Uh, well, you're talking about eating pickles, so you don't need to act like it's some weird thing, man. You're eating sweet I pickles. I know. So just... You're eating sweet pickles, you fucking weirdo. Um, yeah. Anyway. All right, let's get some of this metallic can, hey, on hey, there. It's 2024. Can a guy eat a sweet pickle without being judged? You absolutely can, my darling Toddy. I just rolled two, that, two D20s. I got a one and a 20. So I'm going to stop, and that's my day. Todd is the yin and Todd is the yang, bro. On the end and the yang. Oh, it's not 420 anymore, so I'm no longer high. Oh, I did have two, three sips of beer after the uh, beer run. So dude, please tell me you drank at least the entire glass of beer that you got. Oh, no way, dude. It was terrible. What do you mean it was terrible? I'd not, I don't, I don't like the taste of beer, and this did not help me. The only beer that, hmm. The only beer I've tasted that I was like, well, that's okay, was a beer at the beer garden in Germany or in uh, Austria. Charles, you are right for the record. Vlasic is what I was getting to. Vlasic is continuously the gold standard of <laughs> consumer level grocery store available pickles. Vlasic, top flight, top line. Huh. Classic is the I'd have to try one. those again. I don't know if I could agree with that. I have to try them again. I haven't been a long time. So, so I'll give you a hint. Menards, most of the time, plastic pickles are about $4.28 a jar. Don't don't ask. They're just, just trust me. Um, <laughs> trust me. But at Menards, they're usually on sale for $3 a jar, which is quite a significant savings when there was like a solid three week period there despite, savings on my nuts. despite not being pregnant i 100 percent ate a jar of pickles a day uh just because don't ask you, questions you, you could you could uh you could go to brian's and get some dairy queen and pickles together yeah, yeah man all right yeah man keep Have painting food. keep painting bro i'll talk to you tomorrow or something Wait, what? You're leaving? Yeah, I'm leaving. Yeah, In the I'm middle leaving. of our triumphant discussion about Vlasic Pickles? I love me some dill pickles. Clausen, so yes, that that is the second defining feature, Mike, that I was walking up to here, uh, is that I feel like the most important factor in determining the crispiness of a pickle, as long as it's established that this manufacturer can... can achieve and and keep crispiness is if your pickles are chilled they're far more likely to be crispy than not or than if they are not chilled they're not chilled you might as well just write the crispiness factor off that's not a thing it won't be a thing it will never be a thing just prepare yourself for perpetual disappointment if they're chilled stand a good mm -hmm. chance um, Todd's gone you know I know you don't like talking about pickles? Uh, I don't eat pickles. Maybe you should start. No, I don't want to. Maybe you should want to. Maybe you could just shut up. All right. Well, there is <laughs> silver on the dart. <laughs> Brian told me to shut up. <laughs> oh, crap. We, we, we got four people still in here. Who are the four people on here? Shout! I'm gonna say it's Charles, Tomacus, Manny, Mike, and the fourth one is. Yeah, what Mike said. See, Brian's eating the. I don't know if Brian's eating the veggie or the man pickles. I don't know which one of those is more awkward. What? Mike said something about veggie pickles and man pickles are or opposite thermal dynamics i know you left toll i know you did buddy Let's see. 
Okay. There's just too many 28 ACWs to do. 20 mils. That's a lot. A very manager's battle in a box. That's a lot of them. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that Perry box is no joke, my no, dudes. That Perry box is no joke. All right, let's get after it here. We are actually, again, getting close to the point where... No, if you would put that mini in, the, in your camera view there, that would, you know... We are getting to the point where an end is almost in sight here, gents, for trying to get, get these 14 figures knocked out tonight. Um... Get one done and we're calling it. Well, that's the thing. We're getting them all to the point where I'm going to wash them and then we'll take a look at them. Yeah, man. I was getting tired. Who is? I am. Whoa. Did I miss the, uh, the changing that you're... You're now going off of Louisa May Alcott. What? Is this, is this the Louisa May Alcott channel now? What's the Louisa? I never heard of that before, man. Titled Little Women. You really, you never heard of that? It's a rather really? important part of American, you know, frontier literature. Little Women by Louisa, Louisa May Alcott. I know the movie. No, not Little House on the Prairie. That's Laura Ingalls Wilder. No. <laughs> Never even heard of her, man. Get it, Mike. You're doing a great job. I hope Steve Kling's <laughs> at least talking to you and saying thanks, man. Those are great, great videos. Okay, there we go, there we go. I think we're going to paint... These rifles should not be silver. But I think we're going to paint them silver anyways. Because, you know... These are rifles blessed by a higher power, you know? I don't really know who the fourth person is on here. Probably a bot. Maybe Todd flipped on. Oh, uh, yeah, I yeah. Maybe Jeff flipped on. It might be Jeff just listening to us while he goes to sleep. I know he likes your, again, dulcet tones. He does? He finds your voice relaxing and, you know, stimulating. We always say if there's one way to guarantee morning wood, it's fall asleep listening to warm but It's like, what's that stuff you always hear advertised on YouTube? Hymns? Hymns. <laughs> yeah. It's like non-prescription, non-invasive, non-narcotic hymns. Listening to Warmut. Now I can see why my wife wants me to have these headsets. What? These headsets, they just came in. I ordered them this morning. They're already here. Oh, shit. Yeah. Why would your wife want you to wear those? She doesn't have to listen to you all. <laughs> all we're doing is... Comp oh, God. God forbid someone compliment her husband. Ugh. Jeez, bro. If you don't want me complimenting Brian, just say something. Well, she's not in the room right now. She's out there watching whatever. I bet she's asleep on the couch right now. Or, oh, it's already Tampa. Or she's already in bed. And As I'm sitting here with you, Big Bird. Hell yeah, buddy. Hell yeah. Oh. What's it say? Hems? Is that the opposite of herms? No, hems. H I M S. Well, dudes, I need to get back to filming my playthrough of Battle of Pensacola, last of my American Revolutionary War in the Western Frontier series. Okay, Mike, and now that's down to three. Pick there, Mike. My phone says three watching. Yep, it is down to three now. It's going to be Charles, Charles Tolemachus, Charles Tolemachus, and I don't know who else. Can't be Nerds Nerd. I know Nerds Nerd sometimes in the background, but I think she, she left a while back. 
we're gonna do their their goggles in like a silvery lens color. Pippis and Charles, and I don't have YouTube up on my browser, or whatever. You don't? No, I don't. Too much stuff. I killed mine once I figured out the the framing thing. Anything embarrassing about it? Jeez. Why are you painting them silver? Because they're lenses, and I don't want to try and make a light blue. Dude, you're supposed to paint the white and the black dot for your eyeballs. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. Well, these guys are silver guys. That way, uh, what's his name at Battle Valor doesn't have to worry about copyright infringement. All right. All right. Last color is going to be like a gray. See, here's the cool thing about these palettes again. Palettes. So we got that orange is dried up, right? Uh-huh. I'll try it on. It's, it's not completely dry. Dang, never mind. I was about to say, when it's completely dry, it won't break up like that. You can just pop it right out. Uh -huh. So like, let's see if I can maybe do it with the blue. Palettes. Yeah, we already we went over this, Telemachus. You weren't here at the start. I had to tell I got I stole these from some very, very nice ten and eight year olds. Nice. Who I've given more more financial benefit in birthdays and Christmases and random stuff. Uh, no, uh I'm just kidding. I actually I borrowed one from my niece. And then it worked, so I ordered like a 10-pack online, and I gave her a whole bunch. Uh, uh, you'd be surprised. My nephew's eight, and he's kind of a psycho. You're not a psycho, but he'll certainly fight. You're not a psycho, but he'll certainly fight you. He's a good kid. I don't um, like still rise. Mm. Hell yeah, Charles. That's what's up. Uh, let's, yeah. get, let's get some gray on this Gandalf hat. We'll get it done. This so is the we'll, rush. What's up? I guess we'll make it a thing here because I made the thumbnail with, you know, toss the bones with, with McMurray. Um, Again, I'd still say add the the speed paints thing in, or the. Sorry, in it. I'd add it to the title, man. Catch all those views, catch all those searches. Not speed paints. I put a uh, army painter fanatic. Is it in yeah. the title though, or is it just the picture? Yeah, it's in the title. Oh, okay. We're trying to get Brian to be a big YouTube guy. He's going to be the Mr. Beast of wargaming. Whatever. I am almost close to 1500 now. Yeah, aren't you 18 off? Well, less than that now. I'm about to say, man. Post about. Post about Army Painter Fanatics. Maybe you'll get to 1500 You're welcome. Yeah. Well, I think it's uh, doing those schedules, you know, video schedules out and stuff. People learn that, oh, hey, he has videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It certainly is. It certainly is, man. All right. Let's do. Uh... Yeah, he is more interesting than Mr. Beast. Ooh. But... All right. <laughs> I think we're just about to the point, guys, of hitting these bad boys with some washes. Oh, snap. Nope. Hold on. I've got one thing. Luckily, this pink has stayed liquid for quite some time. There we go. Kind of like that music in the background. I I like your music in the background. To be honest with you, I really do. Water break real quick.
fun fact, speaking of my niece and nephew, all I was thinking right there was, yeah, my nephew would fight me if I didn't constantly buy him off with Kinex. But the cool thing is, Kinex has been around long enough that you can buy boxes of them online where people sell them by the pound. And it's real cheap. It's pretty outstanding. You built some big stuff out of those things. <sighs> You blowing your nose. What? You blowing your nose. Yeah, because you guys always get after me for sounding nasally. Oh, I don't. don't... Alright. Sorry, that's done with. Entertainment for the slack jawed masses. Oh, for crying out loud. You're on here, I'd like to point out, Mr. Tlentlicus. All right. Where did that wash go? Strong tone, strong tone, strong tone. Now I am going to have to thin this. I'm going to use water. I know that it's not the medium or whatever. Um, the medium was actually already sold out at game night. Um, five, six, seven. Um, but yeah, the medium was sold out, which was a little surprising, but I was happy to see it. Like, it's good to know that that support is out there, right? Uh, that there was that much, you know, excitement, especially for a small it, game night. Really, is a small local gaming store. They do not have a big. Yeah, you're right. I, 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 I got you, Toll. I appreciate it, buddy. Uh, game night doesn't have a huge, a huge gamer base, especially not a huge non GW gamer base, much less you know miniature gaming. So it was good to see that. There was that kind of love out there. All right, so let's see how this works. We're going to start with the skeleton real quick, because even if it comes out real dark, it'll be all right. Actually, that looks like a pretty good mix, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. Just a spot back of the head. I know. I'm going to have to come at from the other <laughs> side also. But, I mean, that, that looks decent. I'm not mad about that. There is no T-staining whatsoever. That is awesome. Um, big fan. That's pretty outstanding, especially given that I mixed it with water, not a medium. Hot oh, dang, dude. That looks fantastic. Not my paint job. The, 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 the wash effect looks fantastic. I, I'm not going to lie, I was really afraid that I had walked out and blown, you know, 50 bucks on paints that I wasn't going to like, wasn't going to use, there weren't going to be anything new, wasn't going to be anything that um, I was really looking for or that I would use on a consistent basis. Because like I said, I, I got the speed paints, I got the contrast paints, they are useful at times, but they certainly aren't necessarily even my go-to's to be honest with you uh these are acrylic paints that have really stepped up their game what's up you want what oh i must add some feedback my bad these are acrylic paints that have really stepped up their game and brought all the concerns and issues that acrylic paints can have to the front. And instead of saying, no, we're not going to mess with that, they, they took all those issues and they fixed them. Um, and it's quite impressive. Like, this, these are good paints, guys. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. Um... This wash looks good. The paint, as you guys saw, uh, definitely achieved the objective of we wanted to make a paint that would go on even and 
in one coat, but also maintain a viscosity that was conducive to painting, right? I'll be the first one to admit it. An army painter is, is taking this, you know, head on because they took it on the chin for years, right? Because their paints were too thick. They were nasty. They'd be gloppy. Um, and they did. They, they took heat for that for quite some time. These are not those paints. These are not those paints. These are not the army painter paints that you're going to need to take and, you know, pop the top off, pop the uh, the spout out of, and, you know, mix up with a stick before you then put them into an agitator just to get them to the point where you can use them. These are not those paints. These are good paints that are a good consistency. Lots of pigmentation. Really, really good pigmentation. Um, the wash, I'm not sure there's much of a difference in the wash, other than it seems like just, again, improved overall consistency and pigmentation. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if I used the medium, that would improve, but I, like I said, the medium was actually already sold out, which is outstanding. Good to see. We're going to suck a little bit of this excess wash off of the top of the cassock. Because they don't need it. They are good, respectable men. I'm going to have to come back and put orange on these guys. Uh, hats, but that's okay. That's not a big deal. That's simple enough, easy enough to rectify. Like I said, I do like, I have found myself, despite the fact that I've always been McMurray, the no highlight guy or whatnot, <laughs> I have found that there's a certain amount to be garnered and enjoyed by coming back with the base color after a wash and just touching things up, right? Not I'm not going through and hunting down, you know, individual highlights. I'm not doing five or six layers of highlights. I'm coming back mm -hmm. through once I'm done and just touching. Like I said, I'll hit their hats. I'll hit probably the, the high chunks on some of their sleeves and the collar. Maybe out here. That's it. You know. Oh, yeah. We did. We talked about We We had a discussion on pickles. Um, yeah, pickles. It, it, at the end of the day, it comes down to Vlasic or go home. Um, Klausen might be able to, to keep up, but there are more uh, regional availability sort of product, which nerds are, I don't know where you're at. If you're in the Midwest, you probably find Vlasic and Klausen, and you could probably find Mon Olive, but Mon Olive pickles are garbage. Just stick to olives. Uh <laughs> So there's that. Charles is rocking out his figures. Um, yeah, I was about to say, that's right. That's right. We talked, Nerds Nerd was on maybe uh, Chris's show when we were talking about pickles. That's right. So there you go, Nerds Nerd. Are you, are you from the Midwest? Can you get all those varieties? Or is there some, you know, hidden specialty pickle manufacturer or wherever you're at? Because that, I mean, that, that, that would affect, you know, potential results. Your mileage may vary. Um, I don't know. Maybe you're out there in California with the, with the Chuck man, with the, the Charles, Sir Charles himself. Um, man, Mike or Toll, I wish, except for Brian didn't even clip his grandsons coming in and, you know, what? godzilla his 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 gamer which would have absolutely gotten outstanding clicks anyways I got a local pickle man. there you go that's right that's right that's right you were telling us about that um, I was gonna I was gonna clip McMurray's toe <laughs> that didn't sound right <laughs> yeah, <that's it>, man. <laughs> clip McMurray's toe <laughs> Anyway. Somebody asked you they need it, man. Give me that pedicure, homie. That's fair. I can't blame you. Uh, 
Uh. Yeah, get those minions done. We're doing, we're going, man. I gotta get Jeffy done. Was he just giving him a lot? Oh, you're okay. Yep, just washing. Had some friends over earlier today. Those beaches ate all my bills. We ain't friends no more. <laughs> See, Brian thinks I'm crazy because I have strong opinions on pickles. And I think Brian's crazy for not. <laughs> Again, if you don't like dills, get some sweet pickles. Get some bread and butter pickles. I don't like pickles. Not with that attitude. Uh, Aren't they just cucumbers? Huh? Aren't the pickles like cucumbers? Yeah. I don't like cucumbers. Yeah, neither do I. That's why I like pickles. <laughs> there you go, Brian. Now your viewers are jumping in on my side. Yeah, but that's okay. That's all right. Uh, finishing up on the, some of the trash terrain. You have been doing great. I saw that picture you posted earlier, and it looks pretty fantastic. Yeah. It's a, it's a microwave dinner bowl. Or, uh, I can't remember what it used to be. Was it? That's right, nerds, nerd. That's where it's all about. It's like point zero zero calories for a crispy, tasty ass snack. You can chop any time. That's right. That's why I have no qualms about eating a, a jar a day for a while there. Sodium might have got to me a little bit, but that's okay. You got to have sodium when you're sweating. See this this is a this is not this is strong tone, not dark tone. What is this? Strong tone. Yes. So this strong tone seems a, a tad bit more on the kind of green brown side than the traditional strong tone brown. Um, which almost makes it look a little more like dark tone, which is like the black wash. But not quite. But not quite. <laughs> Pop bubbles. There we go. Let's hit these calves. Wait a minute. He's butt naked. Yeah, I've been making dick jokes about him the whole time I've been painting. Man. Oh. <laughs> I just, I just know. Why I've been talking about his schmeckle and everything else. Uh, and why I've been turning very quickly past the front of that figure. Oh. oh yeah, dude, he's all hanging out, man. <laughs> Free ball and I used to legitimately think that that Tom Petty song was free balling. Oh my gosh. Like it was all about running around with no underwears on. Uh, and somewhere like high school or something, somebody's like, what the hell is wrong? What are you saying? I explained it to them and they're like, it is free falling, you deaf individual. Um, but yeah, so I had that going for me, I guess, which is nice. Okay. You know what? What? Not Jay's. He's not doing his painting thing, is he? What painting thing? Well, the, he, I thought he was doing his uh, paint challenge stuff. Oh, I think he said he was going to cut it down to like one month. Which is good, because I've had way too many damn paint challenges, man. Yes, I'm kind of burned out a little bit. I'm not burned out, it's just, like, I like analog hobbies, because you can paint whatever you want to. Um, yeah. 
And if, you know, I have a project, like if I want to paint ACW, we should absolutely have another ACW painting challenge. Yeah. Stuff like that. But it's got, it, it, after a minute, man, like I said, I've basically been doing paint challenges since you had yours in September. I know. And I mm. haven't ah. had too much time that I haven't been doing a paint challenge to just either A, sit back and not paint much and just play, you know, board games or do something like that. And ultimately, the issue is it winds up, I wind up painting less because I've been painting so much that it's just, I need a break from painting. Yeah. But I'd rather paint at a manageable pace and not have to take breaks as much. I don't know about a Gundam challenge. I didn't mess with that. Uh, so there's, again, there's Ganja Wall. Ganja Dolph. Nice. I should have done these minions first so I could come back and touch up the yellow. Dang it. Hell yeah, you will, Charles. I know you'll finish him, man. Charles paints like a crazy man. He paints like a man possessed. Yeah. Charles needs to take some time off. <laughs> yeah. So, Brian and I started doing a few. Our first one was Romans, right? We did the Romans, yes. We did the Romans, and then like two months after that, Civil War, which became a we did Civil War, which became yeah. Brian needs yeah. baby aspirin and uh, and, yep. and some nitroglycerin and yep. maybe an AED, but he survived. Um, and then, well, then we went to it had been it, it's been a minute. We didn't you didn't jump in on one. I did that analog hobbies last year too. Really enjoy that. Yeah. That's always a good time. Um, yeah. but. Then we, we swapped up a little bit. You did your painting challenge, just the big painting challenge, last yeah. September, right? That was last September, and now we'll do that every September. Yes, that was outstanding. Big fan of that. Um, Chris did his. That was fun, too. Yeah. He changed his requirements to you can just base stuff and get points for it. Then so all of a sudden, I got like 300 points in a day. Uh, because I have just an ungodly number of unbased miniatures because basing is what I hate about miniatures. Um, in January, I did the January one. and You did? And that was in the middle of analog, man. That was rough. Yeah. And I decided, you know, I'm just going to do mine once a year. Once makes a sense, year. man. It makes January's sense. January's coming off of the analog and then it's also coming off of the holidays yeah it's like, that's rough it's now. holy nord has joined the chat folks there we go here we are Nordy. now we Nordy. gotta paint more stuff brian nord just got here oh man i'm trying to collapse here man there's two times where i was quiet now it's because my wait i zonked out <laughs> that's kind of what i figured but that's okay all right so there we go that's Two hours and 38 minutes. The first 20 something minutes of that, at least. Yeah. Probably the first half hour, of that was me just talking. And then in two hours, I just banged out 14 miniatures. That ain't bad. I'm not. Oh, shit. Charlie Horse, back cramp. Need to score. Uh oh. We're good. All right. Need to score um, some. Okay. 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 That's going crazy. Person, I can get that entire basement of shame with this one. Holy Lord, dang right, I'm holy basket of my divine glory. <laughs> All right, so let's look at some of this stuff. I'll pick up some of these guys that I washed first right off the bat. Again, here's one of Thomas Foss's. I can't remember what the line is, but his it's guy. Yeah, his skeletons. This is a skeleton with a javelin. He's got a whole bunch of these. They're pretty cool. I like these. I don't know if I'll paint enough of them to find my rabbits, but they're cool. He sent me that one because I ordered a bunch of rabbits, and he's like, hey, you have this thing, too. Big yeah, fan of that. You paint all your rabbits so heavy. I painted every single damn one of them. They are all painted and based. All right. Every single one of them. Okay. Uh, 
here are some of the little Jesuit looking dudes with hey, guns. Yeah, you're right. yeah, you're right, I did. <laughs> there we go. Look pretty cool. Then we've got Jeffy. That is Jeffy. <laughs> it's all right, dude. Look at Jeffy. He's playing brutal golf today. Different golf, different clubs. Yeah. We have the woman DeLorean. I don't like the silver right on her face. That looks terrible. Yeah. But either way, here we go. She was she wasn't even washed, was she? Yep. Again, yeah. the issue is it's a three D printed model, so the detail is really, really shallow. Oh. Um. Like that's the issue with this duber too. Like I layered that wash on there real bad. It's gonna look terrible. Why does the armor look so good on Manda Mandalorian women? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, and then here's this little dwarf guy. That one came out again. I'm happy with how that came out. That, I I tried to go for. A lot of these Ian sculpted in like the late 80s, early 90s. Mm -hmm. And so I try to kind of keep it with that rather basic paint job. And I really like how that turned out. You can tell that that's the paint style that that miniature was designed to operate with. Oh, that gold just pops out big time. It does, dude. That is one yeah. layer of gold. Yeah. It's almost like you one have to layer. wash to try to dull it. Yeah. That's phenomenal. Yeah. Gold is one of those colors like the yellow that looks terrible. That yeah. looks incredible. Yeah. Super happy. I'm 100% going to go back and get the really, really bright gold that they make too. They make a brighter gold? Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is like a real yellow gold. No, that is 100% printed. Uh, the Mando, yeah. the Mandalorian, and the and Ganjadolf. Yeah. Those are printed. So, Mike, or Nord, I don't know if you remember, I did a whole bunch of goofy Star Wars last year yeah. uh, during the Analog Hobbies Painting Challenge. I can go grab them while we're waiting on these washes to dry, because there's some that are rather entertaining. Yeah. Oh, I took off. All right. <clears throat> and so, because I'm 100% going to paint and play them eventually. Keyword, eventually. All right. So, this is most of the figures that I did for the Goofy Star Wars. We've got the guy who started it all. This is uh, Garth Brooks. Or Garth, Brooks. Darth Brooks. My bad. Darth Brooks. You can see he's got a bitch and mullet. Um, so, yeah. That's Garth Brooks. Darth Brooks. Darth Brooks. Darth Brooks. Darth Brooks. I need to paint up his buddy, Garth Maul. Garth Maul, okay. M-A-L-L. Uh, so there's him. Now this is his buddy, uh, Dale. Or Dale. Dale. He's the speeder pilot. He's the intimidator. Check out the I bitch and check out the bitch and stash. Um, then let's see here. This is the rival uh, Canadian Jedi that I painted up for Chris Long. Oh, yeah. He, uh, he lives 43 beer stores south of, uh, of old Darth Brooks over there, um, which you can see he likes the Labats. Those might be bush lattes, but either way. So he's got his plaid and his old duck hunter camo or his woodland camo and his khaki pants. So he's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, this is what about what about puke air jumper? This is his buddy Kenye Rojas Rojas. He's a gambler. He's the gambler. In fact, he always knows when to hold him and when to run away. Um, this. This guy right here, this guy, 
is Dale's main nemesis oh, we don't know who that is. in the speeder <laughs> races. He drives for an unnamed chemical co- mega corporation. <clears throat> um, these are his pit crew. Again, also brightly colored, unnamed mega chemical corporation. They also uh, have pretty bitchin' Fu Manchus, as you can see. I don't know what kind of aliens these were supposed to be in Star Wars, but their faces were like kind of formed to be like, you know, uh, Fu Manchus. So that's what we're going. Uh, there's those. Here is the security down there at the. Uh, at the speeder bike track they got some real good security going on except for it interrupted yeah. their company pool party so like you know <laughs> it kind of like i said it interrupted the company pool party but they're they're on the job believe me uh with extra pp and some safetyness going on so we got those guys um uh, i'm trying to find i don't know where those speeders are at um, are those actually Klingons? Well, it don't matter. Uh, I did, I did paint a couple like speeders and whatnot for these guys. Like I painted Dale's speeder, obviously with the number three baby, and then I painted the uh, the speeder that's out back of Darth Brooks's house. It's a white speeder. It's seen better days, but he's going to get it running. And get it down to the DMV, get it licensed and titled and everything. Um, I don't know where I set those. I'll have to find them. But, yeah, then I printed out some more houses, Brian, for them. And I have some rubble mm-hmm. girls I need to paint up as well. Some, tr- mm-hmm. some junked out droids and all that nonsense. As, as it should be, you know. They're good, respectable goobers. Uh... The, the galaxy isn't that far away. It's just down outside of Texarkana, I think. But, you know, that's all right. That's all right. Where the hell did I put those speeders? That's really going to bug me. I'm not going to That's really going to bug me. Because the idea, like I said, was to take these things. Yeah, that's right. Rubbing is racing. Uh, that's right. Uh that is really going to bug me because I was going to, like I said, take these things down to Wiley's to mess with he and Steve because they take their Star Wars super <laughs> seriously. And I <laughs> cope with things by making jokes, so I don't. Um, hey, you know, those things aren't really done because they need to be based. All right, where are these? Don't tell me I'm going to have to print more stuff between now and two weeks from now. I'm pretty sure my next day off or my next weekend off is actually May the 4th. So that's not going to happen, which is a shame. But, huh. Well, I'll have to fight them. Um, I'll hop on next time. Watch watch for, you know, not Jay's streams and stuff. I'll find the speeders and bring them. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know that exactly sure. I don't think this is actually Texarkana. Something tells me this is closer to like Biloxi. Or what? that's that's Mississippi, isn't it? It is. Or God forbid, like Kennett, Missouri. It might be Kennett, Missouri. They don't even speak English in Kennett. Hey. Yeah, is that your favorite neighborhood there? Kennett? No, not Kinlock. Oh, Kinlock. Ken- okay. Kenlock. I could do Kinlock. Jedi, but that'd be a whole different thing. I'll show you. I got, I got Dark Ball right here. Um, let's see. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Had hands on him earlier. Where are you, Garth? There he is. Yeah. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Again, that's a Battle of Valor mini right there. The rest of these mm-hmm. are 3D printed. The two Jedi that I had painted mm-hmm. are uh, Battle of Valor. The rest of all of those are 3D printed. I think he closed, didn't he close shop not too long ago? Battle of Valor? 
Yeah. Jeez, I hope not. I think he did. Here, swap back to to two person view, right? Yeah, here. Show us, show us what you've been working on. I gotta jump upstairs real quick for a hot second. Okay. Go for it. Do whatever. I'll switch over. Oh, you know, a camera. I'm like, oh, I'm on this camera. What's up? So, anyways, I didn't do as much as Big Murray did. Um, did some speed painting on some. Uh, let's see if we can switch the camera around. And there we go. Right there. Yep. Uh, right now, I'm just starting on a little 15, uh, little 15 mil uh, Confederate. Uh, it's not going to focus in too much. Not much lighting here. And then I just finished up on um, some uh, Perry Miniatures uh, ACW Unions. I just, they're not totally finished because I got to base them up. So I just did about four of those guys. So three of them in marching, one shooting. So. It's all going to be part of the, the westernmost uh, Civil War battle, uh, which is was here in Arizona, Apache Peak. There was a skirmish, though, westernmost skirmish, ACW, and that was in Stanwick Station, just a few miles north of Yuma. And the California caller were running through there, and uh, the Union were taking down a lot of the Confederate pickets. And Picacho Peak was the last stand before they went to Tucson, and then the uh, Confederates hightailed out of Tucson and head off to New Mexico. So that's it. Brief little history. Um, yeah, so I got four of them done and all. So, anyways, I'm still a little tired here because we're going on three hours here, it looks like. So, uh, I mean, where are you back at? Oh, he's down in the base. Mesa, Mesa, no Sith. <laughs> if only that were true. Or if Jar Jar is in the shadows. Do you think that was that's really something there that they really were gonna do with Darth Jar Jar? Or is it just a joke running joke still? So, I thought they were being serious about that for a bit. When that last movie was coming out number nine or eight or nine, whatever it was. I can't remember. <laughs> so but um no nah, uh, um let's see, let's go ahead and zoom back out. Got to me here. So, yeah, and I think uh, tomorrow's live show is going to be uh, Gamers with Coffee. Uh, they usually do theirs uh, uh, before o'clock my time or 2 o'clock my time here in Arizona, so 4 o'clock Midwest. So, I am honestly 50 50 on it. Would make an amazing Yoda parallel slash foil. Yeah. So, and, and Tomacus, yes. So, I was wondering about that if they were going to do something. I was just thinking maybe it would have been a different, uh, what's their species? Gungan, Gungan, how do you say that? So not really Jar Jar, so. But, anyways, oh, I hear Mike Murray. All right. You got about seven minutes, it's three hours, man. I'm cutting it off. Okay, hang on. I, I went up, I, I ran upstairs and got, uh... <laughs> what? I was just laughing, and there's last comment there about the supposedly Darth Jar Jar. Darth Jar Jar, that sounds badass. Yeah. Uh, Nord, I have read the old expanded universe. I used to read a ton of it. That being said, I went upstairs mm -hmm. and grabbed Darth's house and uh, Dale's house. So let me get these guys cleared off a minute. They're not painted or anything. I just grabbed the 3D prints. That being said, they're 3D prints and they're FDM, so there's not a lot of like ultra detailed stuff to go in there. Yeah. And there's also not necessarily they don't wash and dry brush super well because they do have the lines, the filament lines. But one thing that they do is they take airbrush fairly well. I have a crappy little airbrush downstairs that I might try and use on that. And they also work pretty well if you are hitting them with the uh like a sponge technique so you're like stippling with a sponge that works pretty well <laughs> excuse me thank you um i also i did find where i have a mon mothma mini 
where it looks like she's wearing a muumu. My mother. I'll be using that too. I think my War Mandalorian is good enough to go into the box with the other goofy Star Wars things. Um, all right, yeah. I think you need to go in your garage and set up a table for all these goofy Star Wars things and get a game going. So here is C. Okay, hang on. Hang on. How do I? I look like a like a cow pie. Oh, this little house. Oh yeah, you did. You did all. Those. See, I did them. In, I got them in uh, fifteen mil. Yeah, that's. I think that's what they came in, but I sized them up a little bit. Yeah. So I got just the little house, as well as then a garage-looking structure. Hmm. Yep. It's got some windows on it and everything. And yeah, so I got to paint those up. Um, luckily, they should be just obnoxiously simple because they're tan. Yeah. Uh, and color. Sand. And that's about it. So that'll be cool. It'll be nice to have those two painted up. Like I said, I need to find the speeders because I have a few wrecked speeders and then a couple intact speeders yeah but i don't know where i stuck those i pull i pulled them out at one point to take pictures or show because somebody was talking about them um on a stream and i don't know where i set them because i pulled them out separate from the miniatures but that's what you get i suppose all right oh let's see mm. Yeah. That, there we go. What are you doing? Me? Yeah. Just sitting here. Oh, it's like you got your hands all folded. Okay, I made custom cards, stats, and chipboard for like 20 EU ships for Star Wars Armada. Nice. All right, we're going to go ahead and cut it here, man. Um, sorry, I just I lost energy. I Again, have, I don't have the McMurray energy. We painted with a bunch of Army Painter fanatics. Yes. Very, I'm very impressed, very happy. We'll certainly be paying a visit to the same place I got these ones to grab some more tomorrow. Big fan. Big yeah, fan. Some. I'll go ahead and probably give me a little starter thing, too. I don't know if I'm, that mega thing, that goes for like 600 bucks. Well, yeah, I mean, there's like 200 and something paints in it, but I don't need. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need that. This is more than enough. I'm more than happy to grab a couple as we go, um, as I can address what I need. I am very happy that... Charlie's Angels. It's not anything, like, wild. It's just acrylic paints that are done very, very well and are not $7 a bottle. That's badass. That's super... Ha ah, that makes me real happy. Something tells me at Miniature Market, they're probably going to be, like, 4 bucks. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, yes, we are all seeing too many warm -ups. Our dreams are coming true right before our eyes. Um, you did Charlie's Angels. At some point, we might, we'll, we'll get into painting this six mil, like these two boats and everything. Yeah. Also from regular. Again, I need to get back. I need to finish up my french and indian stuff you guys can see some of it in the periphery over here it, oh, oh gosh oh gosh everything's falling apart right, uh, I'll back up. there you go now you can see it there's 80 something french and indian war 15s that need to be based they're painted they're done other than basing um those are regulars i've got 60 more militia to do there are some artillerists that you can see that i've got i just finished building their cannons and getting them on uh uh getting them you know primed and ready basically the way i do it is i take a big artillery base because the normal infantry is based on 
Good night, Nord. One inch by three quarter inch bases. Artillery is on one inch by one and a half inch bases. So I take the artillery base, I glue the crew on, and then the gun is separate just so that I can swap it out. But yeah, so they'll be on bases as well. That's another 12, I think. I've got some more command that I have not finished yet. Their mounted command. Again, in the blue and, and red. The nice thing about French at this point is that their uniforms were just natural. So off-white, um, including officers' uniforms for the most part. So it makes it a little simpler. And uh, yeah, that's all for Axe Annex's 15 millimeter challenge. Quite happy. Um, once I knock out the militia, I'll have a pretty solid starter. I'll need to do natives. Because again, it's French and Indian. Um, that being said, those are certainly going to be a more universal because both sides use native allies that were essentially clothed the same. So we got that going for me. But after that, who knows? Time marches on, projects progress. I'll probably keep painting these 28 mil Royal Roses, all kinds of stuff. It'll be interesting to see how I am excited to use these paints on the 28 mil War of the Roses like Bo and Billman because I can use a yellow I can use if I need to use an orange or any of the reds or a blue I know that I can use these bright colors and put them onto the figure whether I decide I want to prime them really dark or this mid color I won't have to worry about that with the livery. It's going to make it a whole lot easier to know. I can just go over with one layer, including the white, including the white, which was a giant pain with the men at arms in the armor, even having to do, you know, one out of every eight or nine, eight or nine guys with a light colored cloth. It's going to be huge knowing that I can just do the white in one layer. There it is. I'm done. That's phenomenal. That's been Army Painter Speed Paints, guys. Highly recommend. Polly's the man. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Brian, you're muted. You're muted. You're still muted. This is awesome. Hey, Brian, if I can have all your stuff, don't say anything. Brian, if you're going to give up Zombicide, don't say anything. There you go. Can awesome. you hear me? I can hear you now. Ah, so when I switch over to the other camera, it mutes it. Yeah, it's probably just a camera view and it doesn't have a mic built into it. But yeah, that's okay. That's all right. We made some remarkable progress in the last... I was about to say, it looked like you've been talking for the past few minutes and I just didn't say anything. Um... But that's okay, because yeah. we don't have to worry about you playing Zombicide anymore. Oh, um, yeah, we've got Zombicide in the future here. That's going to happen. Stuff, but yeah, so. Um, I will have 30 of the, of the archers, the Muslim archers, hopefully done by tomorrow. Um, because looking at the color schemes on them, it's okay. So, and then for basing them, See, I'm kind of sad because I have been, I was doing a very similar project, if you recall. Yeah. But in 10 mil, not 15. So. Oh, 10 mil don't count. I know. So that's Those are all 10. Go. Oh, shit. Let me set these aside. What? They're all 10, right? Yeah. Bring them up closer. Can you bring them up being closer? I made them slightly different shades of tan to distinguish <laughs> the units, but yeah. You got a new phone, didn't you? Nope, it's the same phone I've had for the last four years. Why is it focusing in so well? I don't know. Wow. Beats me. Yeah, it comes in real crisp. Yeah. Dude, I'll just do that color scheme and fly right through it. Well, I mean, I need to. I still need to go back and do stuff on them. I was just putting a base on them so you can see where they're slightly different colors, yeah. depending on their overall unit. Um, well, there's some red and blue in those, uh, in some of those uniforms, uh, what they wore. Yep. All right. 
Ooh. Anyways, those are two million. They don't count. Correct. <laughs> so, all righty. I mean, Mary, thanks for uh, showing off those paints. And yes, they do look very good. And I'd probably get the starter set. I'm not sure if I'm going to go, like, go all in on it, you know, and how much it costs. But um, everyone in the chat that did stay in the chat, or, you know, it's been here, told with us. Uh, you have a great night, nerds, nerd. You take care, too. Uh, good luck replenishing up. your pickles, nerd. Yeah, too late. Give him all you. <laughs> nerds, nerds, toast. <laughs> And yeah, in order, yeah, in order to say good night. And then uh, for Todd and Hex, and for Hexy, yeah, Hex, Charles, Hex, Charles, be good. To be good, be good, yeah. guys. And, Mike, good to see you. Yeah, and it's the same with you. And um, probably won't see another live feed from me for quite a while. Oh, nonsense. Little father. <laughs> so, just back to back, stuff, man. But all righty, you guys take care, and I'll see you in the next video and all that. So, ciao. Bye.